Right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Age of Nagash, which of course is a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma. Just realise where it says live in the top corner from where I can see, I can't see my face. So that should be quite interesting going into this. But I can see we have 10 people watching already, which is very, very quick. So in this video, what we're going to go into is going to be the FAQs of Warhammer Age of Sigma third edition. So what we're going to do is we're going to start alphabetically. We're going to be looking at Beast of Chaos first, and then we'll be making our way down. But of course, it won't just be me going through this. I have managed to get some very trusty people and some very experienced people in to help me out with this one, as I do usually. So we are going to have, um, so we've got Ben joining us. We right. then have um, Alex joining us, we have Max joining us, and we have Luke. So thank you all so much for joining me. A massive thank you as well to Max, because although Ben, Alex, and Luke have joined me all before, this is Max's first time. So thank you very much for coming on the channel to all you, and uh, I hope you do well today, Matt. Like, you will be judged. Like, there is a, there's a <laughs> moderate uh, status being judged here. Um, no, so also the other thing what I just wanted to have a lot of people on is... Um, I'm not going to bullshit to you. I don't play all these armies. I don't want to pretend I do. I'm going to struggle to tell you the correct information for the armies that do play because of COVID. It's been quite hard to play games lately, especially in the third edition meta. So I thought I'd get lots of other people on and they know lots of stuff about it. Okay, so with that, just going to quit this. I was going to say, playing all the armies, isn't that Alex's job? Yeah, um, like Alex will be covering 20 of these. Um, I should have got you to do the white. Do you want to redo the white plays, Alex, at some point? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> There you go, for two hours when we do them. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to look at, though, is going to be Beasts of Chaos. And just before we go into that, though, I do just want to say that there is official Age of Nagash merch now. So you can buy Age of Nagash bath water. Don't ask why it's red, but you can buy that now if you want it. Just let me know in the Discord. So going into the first errata is going to be Beasts of Chaos. And I'm going to chuck this one over to yourself, Ben, to take us through this as it is an army that you love. What I just asked anyone in the chat, just to let us know your thoughts when we go through all this FAQ stuff, or if you're watching this on demand, um, let us know down below in the comments of this video what you think of all the FAQs. You're happy, you're sad, remember not to take it out of me, take it out of a big angry company we don't like, GW. So um, I'm also going to do timestamps because I have been asking quite a few of these live videos when people watch them back. They were quite likely to be timestamps. So I'm gonna try and timestamp these videos under every army category so it makes it easier for people to watch this on demand so ben take us through um this wall actually sorry it opens up in a new hang on one second um, so basically because it opens up in a new tab isn't it so i'm gonna have to remove it and then we'll go into it but it'll be fine you get to see all our faces um and then uh... Hang on one second, I'm gonna have to just reach one, that's annoying. Um, where are these chaos, these chaos, these chaos? Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, fantastic. Got it off next time. Right, so just wanna quickly say that Chris G is saying 100%, so glad he's on board already. And Ben, take us through the change of Beast of Chaos. Are they now top meta, or did they uh, ever uh, get knocked uh, off their podium to begin with? No, no, it's, it's absolutely top meta. It's like, it, it's the best we've ever been. No, it, <laughs> yeah. So we've uh, not got a great deal yeah. with the FAQ. We had a bit of a change to Savage Dominion. So the spell that we used to pick an enemy monster and get it to move three inches, and then uh, essentially roll the wounds characteristic and do damage. We now don't move it, so it's got to be within three inch already, which it's, it's a big shame because having Savage Dominion devolve and a couple, having those two movement spells could help out, especially when monsters count for five wounds now in the new FA, in the new rules. Mm -hmm. So that's a slight, a slight nerf to the movement, but other than that, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same. And then the big changes we have got for Beast Chaos are the endless spells. So do you want to scroll down? Yeah, yeah, because we've got so when you look at pretty much all of these factions, what you are gonna see is the changes to the war scrolls for these endless spells. Yeah. So the Ravening Dire Flock is one of the biggest changes. It used to do a penalty to bravery. Uh, however, 
now and then it used to be moved by whoever state whoever enters their move within one inch of it mm -hmm. however now what it does is models kind of use inspiring presence or rally command abilities while they're within 12 inch of the end of the spell and because it's got three parts of the spell it's got quite a wide area so with how cheap it actually is it might actually see quite a bit of play now and then with the Black Sword Cowardice, which is when a an art, when a unit finishes its move within one inch of it, uh, you remove the endless spell from the battlefield and at the end of the phase, so normally the movement phase, but if you can move in another phase then it might affect with that, you set it up anywhere on the battlefield within three uh, within three inches and uh, three inches of each other, but more than one inch away from another model. So it's it's pretty it's pretty good and it's pretty mobile. It's all it's, it's pretty good for lo uh, blocking lines, uh, blocking charges, uh, and making sure that uh, quite a large area of the enemy can't use inspiring presence. So if you target like the middle of the group, then you've you've got a good shot. It it's like, it's one of the few ones that have really improved with the FAQs. I'd be and, interested yeah. to see that spell coming out of a bottle. Yeah, KO because you know stopping people from being able to inspiring presence or rally after getting shot to pieces by KO. Yeah, that, 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 it's, that it's a massive area as well. Yeah. yeah. So just, we we already yeah. reach an interesting discussion point. So there's an FAQ which states you can't take endless spells outside of the allegiance anymore. So like for example, Zinch can't take Dark Fire Demon Rift. How, where does that leave KO with spell in a bottle? Where's that? Yeah. Where's the leave leaving the first Is that an FAQ? <laughs> yeah, it's an FAQ from today, yeah. Yeah, yeah where's the leave leaving the first then? Because, like, they, they're, they're not like coalition forces. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, yeah, no, um, I dig that spell. How many points is it? It's only 50 points as well. It's, it's pretty cheap. Yeah. No, I like no, it's, it. it's, really, cool. it's really good. It's pretty much going to be most of my list now. Uh, yeah. Then we've got the Doom Blast uh, Dirge Horn, which. Yep. There's not much change to that. I don't think it'll see a great deal of play, to be honest, as it's quite easily dispelled when it only having a casting value of six, and it's only got a three-inch range to start with, with a minus one to hit. And it, it does grow every turn. It's not being dispelled, but with the amount of dispels around and the amount of casters, it's not going to it's not going to stay around. So yeah. it has stayed the same as it as it as it was though. So. Particularly with priests being able to get rid of endless spells as well. Yeah, it's it That's just so doesn't much. seem to be worth it. Which I imagine it looks really good on like a diorama or something, though, doesn't it? Or yeah, like, it, look, it looks like a good spell. It's a, like all the beast ones look great. And then one to the uh, final one, which was the wild the big one. And this has taken a bit of a hit. It's gone up thirty points, and the damage has gone down massively, and the effect has gone down quite a bit as well uh, in previously what it used to do is it used to do d6 wounds versus any units that were 10 or higher or d3 wounds otherwise but you didn't have to roll for it now you've got to roll for it. now you've got to roll for it and the always strikes last effect is only within three inches of the spell Whereas it used to be whatever unit was affected by the spell. So it's taken a big hit in both effectiveness and points. So it's gone up 30 points and it doesn't seem to be as good as it used to be. It was a massive shame. And, and also a lot more armies are taken now. I was going to say, and being predatory, you also can fall foul of it turning wild and stuff. Yeah, whereas, like whereas Direflock Di isn't, and that seems to be the biggest yeah. winner out of the Beast of Chaos FAQ. But isn't um trying to remember the new rules of third edition aren't oh, predatory and the spells now much more reliable oh yeah they, they are they are a lot more reliable but you're casting it so if you are holding it with a dragon or shag off then yeah you've got a good chance of keeping it alive but the great ray shamans and the zango shamans are only six wounds and they've got five plus five or six plus save so you they're not going to stay alive too long but if your enemy doesn't have any shooting or any magical potential and they're surrounded by 30 to 60 young gore and the enemy can't physically get to them then you've got a good shot but i mean how many armies don't have access to magic or shooting yeah boom you respond yeah the point is, is <laughs> your list is, your, your list stays consistent for like a five game tournament 
And like, if you're putting, what, 100, 120 points of your army into it, and every single game you come up against something with, like, yeah, shooting yeah. or magic, it's just like, well, that's not a big old waste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Cool. If you had, um, a, if you had a survival yeah. hero, maybe, but otherwise, no. Hmm. And what yeah, about the Hearthstone? Yeah, the Hearthstone is pretty much stayed the same. Uh, it's now impassable, which is great for blocking, like, essentially bases of monsters. So as long as you can keep people away from it or get it behind some other terrain so you can't get, say, Archeon's pie plate or, like, Marathi in there, then you can try and stop it being smashed, which would be essential, especially mm -hmm. going late game. Yeah, definitely. But other than that, the Hurricane sure. has stayed pretty similar. So it's still got the six since expanding bubble of the Subtract 1 to save and the... The uh, Locus of Savagery is maybe. more important now, though, isn't it? Yes, my presence only being once. It's it is important. Whereas the so the locus of savagery has changed. It used to be within eighteen inch within the range of the lodestone. Now it's wholly within, so you can't just tag a unit. Uh, okay, they keep me into battle shock. But the one advantage that the hearthstone does have is if it is smashed by a monstrous ability, it it can still be used to sacrifice one because that's not that's not an ability on the war scroll. That's an ability mm -hmm. from the Beast of Chaos book. So That's you can still sacrifice at the, in, at the rubble of the Hearthstone. Quick question. Thinking about Smashed, if you smash it, does that remove the impassable feature? I'm not sure. If it's on the War Scroll, then yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. So if you smash it, you can move over it. Thematically, it makes sense as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that sounds about it. And I think that pretty much sums up the beast of chaos isn't it for there so what would you say ben better or worse i mean i i, I just say that they there's more chance of going up than down but but the managed to get us a bit down so yeah but the, the, the dire flock, drill out and drill through the, the dire flock is very good now though that, yeah, that well, is the thing the dire flock is really good at least yeah exactly at least the sign has come out of it um so I just want to say that we've got Slothman in chat uh, responding to what we said earlier, saying spell in a bottle, can't stop, won't stop. We'll see what happens about that. Um, Rouse321 is saying evening, evening, mate, hope you're doing well. And then we got Robert as well saying evening, hope you're well as well. So with that, we'll move on to the next one on our list. And how this is going to work is you're going to see our faces as we have to do this probably about 25 armies, isn't there? Um, right, okay. So the next one is going to be all about Blades of Corn. Now, Ooh. this, again, exactly, is an army that was probably, I think it was giving Seth when I run for its money at the top. Um, uh, and maybe I did <laughs> Did you say, could you I imagine? I played against it last weekend, and I have to say... It was pretty scary seeing Archeon smash twice every turn. There we go. And I, oh, that's funny. That yeah. was a fake. And imagine this is going to tell me the rules of how my corn dragon will be able to interact in uh, 2,000 games of uh, Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3,000 points and only. That's yeah. only increased right. to 3,000 now. I'm sure it's going to came down. Right, okay. So... Um, has anyone read into this one yet, or do you want me to read through it? Uh, I can go through it. Well, cool. First right. five stupid questions. Nobody cares about that one because apparently people cannot read. It's like after the like the blood scrape ability stacks like for the twenty thousand time. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that you can only summon one you one unit from the blood tide. I and like the new, uh, chaos rule, which is yeah, about. that's the only that's the most important one. The most of them are just re rewarding of the there's a the lot prayers. of that in these going forward yeah a lot yeah, of it's then, changing the like keywords in things like highlighting words and stuff yeah um, yeah that's fine then all right so we'll go on to the um invocations and stuff that sounds good uh well let, let's just first start with the legions of chaos because yeah, that's the so important that one that, and the general terror so basically the deal with all all chaos battle tomes was okay yeah. as long as you have the appropriate chaos keywords let it be corn nurgle slanash singe whatever you can just drop it into the army and take it like a battle line 
but apparently Games Workshop wasn't too much fan of that and all the mixing, even though that is what Chaos is about. But oh well, they make the game, they make the rules. I just abuse them. So <laughs> sad like a speech player. Yep. So basically what they did for all the Chaos faction is you can you can take every two in four units, you can take a unit with the appropriate mark for from let's just from the Slaves of Darkness book. So take your Varen Guard, give them the mark of Nor Mark of Corn. You can have two two in four of those into your corn army. Basically, and this works for every of the of the Chaos books. So it kind of feels yeah. like it's turned them all a bit City of Sigma-ish. I was going to say, it's City of Chaos, basically. Yes. And I, yeah. I kind of, I kind of feel like... a bit more, because yeah. you have 50%. Well, Chaos didn't do it first, though. Yeah. yeah, but the important part of taking away from that is, is that they don't count as battle line anymore, because your coalitions do not count as battle line, even though they have battle line. And they what can't is... be your general, either. Yeah, which is kind of shitty. So you're locked to your battle tomes, battle line that are probably very expensive, and especially in Zinch, you're kind of getting fucked. But yeah, more about that later. Is Zinch getting fucked from battle line costs to a slash player? Uh, well, <laughs> let's just say a Blissful March is battle line. Yeah, hundred eighty well, points. You, you just need three of them. Um, so what I'd say as well about this is that I was kind of along the impression of like, I really like the idea of my Sinesh, I call my Sinesh army, it's actually just Slays the Darkness mixed with some Hedonite Sinesh, which no longer is a thing anymore, because I heard that you wouldn't be able to bring Slays the Darkness into like the Hedonite Sinesh book, and then I hear this now, and I'm like, oh, so I can bring, you know, two and every four, and now I'm just like, I don't know why I'm happy, because they should have just kept it how it was. Um, but it's to make you buy more models, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's to get, also give a bit more variation to be honest like most of the armies were like completely slaves to darkness with just one you one unit from the book mm. so it, it was like at that point you were pretty much playing slaves to darkness more with the slanesh book and never using all any of the fucking demon units yeah. only when you can summon them and now uh, you just have all the other great goodness from the Switch. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, but, uh, the new rule that I am excited about mm -hmm. in this part is any one of the four, one of four units can be a okay. piece of chaos yes. with the appropriate yeah. keyword. Mm -hmm. So we can have, for example, Zinch Cockatrices, which are fun. Um, Zinch Chimera, but beforehand you could yes. take the Gargant, the Chimera, or any of the other monsters of chaos in any of the God Marks books without being allegiance. Nope. So they now just you, allies. Yep. Now, now you can actually take them as coalition, which is really nice. So you can actually take the two, uh, the two Chimera, because that's four hundred and forty points, and they would be marked, and they're pretty, they're pretty nasty in combat, and they've got a decent shooting stack as well. And they've got a plus two inch range to charge. Yeah. I've, and I've, I just. And something just fucking hits me in the corn book that, by the looks of it, you cannot have Archeon anymore in. Yes, you can. Corn. So uh, there's the FAQ which gives him the. Yeah. I can't remember the name. It's uh, Warmaster. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, and that, the FAQ in the Slip Start and Spoke goes. Uh, supersedes that, so even though he's got the, got the slash keyword, Fair he, enough. Can, he can still be there, and I think he, he now counts as the general as well. Is it one of those where he counts as a general, but isn't your general? Yes, yeah. So, yeah. so he's not the chosen general, but he is the general. Yeah. yeah. So he's not the chosen general. He's now two generals, so. basically, with 18-inch uh, auras of uh, popping out what you need. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay, so... 
and just like for anyone who's, who's joined and just catching up and stuff so basically what we're saying about beast of chaos is that those beast of chaos battalions you took to be able to take corn beast of chaos and stuff like that no longer are a thing because that's the narrative really those battalions so now you can just take um uh one in every four units can be from a beast book if you're one of the chaos god books basically so that is that okay and um is there anything else before we go into the invocations is mm. that the legion we of chaos is we're going to cover for the god books basically um yeah. so well well we have wizard blood versus now so that's something wizard blood versus yeah the generic artifact oh is that oh, in the core rules yeah yeah yep. yeah cool and um, basically they haven't added the a restriction of having corn wizards outside the coalition units cannot have wizard keywords so you cannot take any other wizards inside the corn army except for that one relic but still say, if one of those it's a small loophole that all it's really going to give you is mystic shield and uh, yeah because you don't have any spells do you oh, oh, flaming yeah, you can still say a flaming weapon yeah flaming weapon. <laughs> And playing with them, yeah. Plus one damage on under the giant a, giant axis uh, for a nice seven damage. That could be good. Possible. Um, exactly. So the but I have all the memes. Yeah. So all the invocations we've got the hexagor um of skulls. Now, do you guys know these prayers? I'm happy to get my book out and do it. Right, to my, I say to my eyes, this hasn't changed. Yeah, it's very minimal as changes. Can, as far as I can see, they're all they all do very similar things. Maybe some distances have changed, but I, to my eyes, they're all the same. Yeah, because remember this the skulls where if you roll like an eight to cast, bad things happen. Yeah, you take decent uh, small wounds. And a major minus is the cast as well. Oh, although maybe this has changed, I don't know. Um, but with the skulls, uh, when that happens, so when the wizard takes mortal wounds, um, the invocation is removed. I don't know if that happened before. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I remember that you forgot the spell as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that. You've got the the bleed icon. Um, uh, let me just look it up. I have the book right. Oh, while, we're, while we're doing it, something that has changed. The skull, the skull altar is now defensible. No. Um, ah, okay. Which means yeah, the the... little priests on top are going to be better defended against getting sniped. Yeah. At least that's the getting removed getting yeah. removed is new. Okay, yeah. So that's that's something. Like they were a bane to me. Yeah, <laughs> no, scary they're, uh... shit. They go away easy. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever rolled an eight against them. And they look mm. cool, but they didn't really stop me. Honestly, they were best used as like Blocking pieces for like yeah. screening off your army, but now with you being able to move over and the spells and invocations, they have lost that. I think they're still good, but yeah, that hurts. But so like two, yeah, two quite big bases, so it was quite a big footprint. Yeah. Um and then do we know the bleed and icon has changed? Look again, looks very similar to the yeah. uh, well, the prayer went down by one. Like the bleeding icon was on a four up, now it's three up. So nice. That's like small improvement. Cool. There we go. Again, like some armies, guys, for everyone who's watching this, like we're gonna know more on. Some I mean, none of us particularly play corn, do we? No. Uh not really. Yeah. Even so though... some some we're gonna know more on, but what I'd say if there's any blades of corn players who are watching this, um, and there's something that we've missed or anything like that, do of course put it down in the comments as we'll be um, glad to hear about it as well. Um, but yeah, okay, so we'll leave that for the Blades of Corn, because of course there is a hell of a lot of armies to get through. Um, okay, so let's stop sharing that screen, and then the next one we are going to go to is going to be the Cities of Sigma, which we have got, like, honestly, like, you know, Luke and Alex, could you have like maybe one of you play corn instead? Just to, <laughs> to be fair, Max um... plays cities as well. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. I remember the first thing you played was Anvil Guard, wasn't it? Was yeah, a... one of the few things. Well, I, I remember you joined the channel because 
not the channel, sorry, Discord, because um, there was an Agent Agash mini little TTS tournament I did. And uh, it was just like, you're right, we had a dropout. We need loads of people to join. And then loads of people came from like the coach Discord and the AOS Discord and stuff. And it was great. Um, right, okay. So let us have a so are we gonna we're we gonna take this uh, as who does what city or how we how we I, mean, this? I, I don't mind, I can be hands off for this one. Um or which what okay, so we've got right, Max, you mainly play Animal Guard, right? Uh stop certainly stop playing that, but to be fair, it I play I play all the other <laughs> faction cities from the auxiliary books. So okay, well, we're being the main one right now. If, if in you... this first page, really, it's What's just that? keyword changing. Okay, keyword change. Okay, so if you, uh, you one thing guys, is tell me what the main changes are for City of Sigma. We get plus one for endless spells. True. Yeah. Casting, so we can they cast endless spells on five up, four up. So guaranteed. Cool. And, and then the idea of endless spells, you know, for Cities of Sigma, they got to overcharge them, didn't they, when they cast them? Yeah. They, is that still a thing? Or no. no? They, they've given us plus one to cast it. No. Instead. Okay. Yeah. Um, which, which is actually really nice. Uh, I really like it. Um, you know, especially like you've got a sorceress who can get plus two to cast. So you've now got like plus three to cast Emerald Life Swarm and those Phoenix Guard. Pretty nice. Yeah, and if you yeah. had a uh, Celestial Huracanum to give you another plus one. Well, yeah, yeah that's only for Collegiate Arcane, and so it wouldn't overlap. But yeah, oh, like, we also get plus two a different way, yeah. I think you can yeah. easily stack it up to like plus four, plus five. Oh, yeah, in Hallow Heart, absolutely. Yeah, like outside no, Settlers that. gain two. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There, there are ways of ways of making basically spell casting is still gonna be good in cities. We we're um, gonna outcast we've, we've croak. Lost the, we've lost the empowerment of, of the endless spells, which is a shame. Um it was something that was quite nice for cities, but no one's got empowered spells now, so yeah. Um for the plus one it's some. just gonna passively help you out more, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So um uh the uh sorceress and dreadlord on black dragon now have the dragon keyword i was about to say with the dragon keyword it's interesting because Kragnus obviously hates drakes doesn't he and he gets a bonus against the drake keyword um but apparently um like the star drakes don't have it more crusher magma Droth, um drake offs don't have it all of these sort of old world dragons are dragon keyworded so maybe we're gonna get some sort of drake Thing. Something that has hit us is with the handgunners and sisters of the watch. They've lost the stand and shoot and lose until lose until the last rule now. No. Uh, well, they've not lost it, but it's changed. Uh, they now get to do unleash hell without spending a command point or without the command being issued. So they still get to do it, but they've Ooh. now gained minus one. So, so with, with that, then can you do that then multiple times? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because it hasn't been issued. And it gets even better. Like, say you had another unit of, say, 20 Iron Drakes stood next to them. You could, because the command hasn't been issued, they could still be issued that command in the same phase. So, like, it's actually a really big buff. For, like, it's what was needed, and it's a really big buff for handguns. Yeah, it's really that, good. That, it's that a really big happen, buff. Yeah. The only thing that's may minorly hurt slightly is that you've lost, you've gained that minus one. But say if you have handgunners, it, and it always happened anyway. That, you get a plus one. No, it wasn't minus one. Because they had to end within three inches um, for the other one. And then if they were within three inches, they lost the plus one to hit anyway. Because their plus one to hit on their war scroll was only if an enemy wasn't within three inches of them. Yeah, do they not also get plus yeah. one to hit on the, if they've got a free gold general within, I think it's 12 inches? Mm. Yeah, there's loads of ways to get plus one to hit. Like You just have a hurricane next to them and you're fine. Yeah. yeah, but for a kind of a general, then that's plus two. So you essentially get rid of the negative on the on the shell. Yeah. So you're on a plus, you're you're on a, you're on a, you're flat plus one then, which is amazing. Yeah, um, I think it's also worth talking about in a, from like a higher point of view. Um, basically, all of these spell laws have been rewritten so that unique uh, units can take the spell law. 
Uh, what that basically means is there was an argument over whether um, unique units could take the generic spells and more specifically flaming weapons. Um, to me, it means that they can't because everywhere else it specifically says that uniques can take them, whereas for those generic ones, you can't. Yeah. So no plus one damage bellic or, or anything like that, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, or the um, Underworld Warband. Um, yeah. we've, we've also started to see another interesting thing on a few uh, FAQs, which is the um, elite keyword, which is basically where mod where units which they don't have a unit leader they gain the elite keywords so that they can still issue commands to themselves so like giant copters have got it here you uh, didn't get it culminators well that, that, they, they get a new book. It's, so on that on that one i, I thought if that was going to be a thing dragon ogre should really have it because those those don't have a unit leader yeah but what about so does it is it just if you don't have a unit leader or just be special no, no, they they need to gain the elite keyword. Yeah, um, specifically in the FAQ. Yeah, FAQ. Um, as you so say, zombies, gyrocopters get still... it. Man eaters oh, in the yoga book, they got it. Yeah, um, yeah. Blade, blade drags revenants. But yeah, there's a few of them around. But yeah, other than that, this FAQ basically it fixes the hand gunners. It sorts out the spell laws. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh cool, yeah. Uh, okay, Alex, quick one for you. Let's say your hand gunners got charged. Yes, and you did their new uh, war scroll ability to uh, do the um, the firing. Because it's not been issued, could you then issue it to the same unit? Oh, water type, mate. Water type. Well, I don't know uh, because it can only be affected by the by one command ability one per thing. You know, even though, even though it's issued it. once, it's still affected by it. Uh, I don't know though because it it's clearly states that it has not been issued. So yeah, to but, me, that yeah, but but there's there's a difference between issues and affected. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll have an FAQ on it in the winter. <laughs> yeah, because that's the yeah. thing is that, like this is the none of this none of these FAQs take into account the FAQs that people have asked since the core rules and stuff have dropped. So there will be a second round of FAQs which clear up, up other stuff yeah. um, in like a few weeks' time. Yeah, but this has answered this has answered more questions than has asked. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So that is Cities of Sigma. And then we're going to go on to one that I particularly don't like, but I know one of us does. Um, and that is going to be the um, overcosted. Uh, I think it's safe to say, daughters of um, Cain. Yeah, we're gonna make a cup of tea. We've got time, man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's more. It's more. What it's more what they've missed than what they've changed. Um, to be honest, right. um, it doesn't sound good. Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, so um, one thing worth noting, pretty much game-wide, other than a few places they missed it, uh, reroll saves are gone. Um, so I think this really hits people like slaves, uh, who have lots of access to reroll saves. Um, and so Daughters of Cain's Blood Rites, which turn five was reroll saves of one, is now ignore rend of one. Um, so you know expected fine uh no biggie um what else did we get um so something um oh no that was that uh, a few little changes to artifacts which didn't really make any difference um i don't think any of the other actual faqs are of anything of no uh it's all just yeah sort of stuff out um, so something that's missed, which considering my Marathi model is arriving tomorrow, uh, I'm mighty pissed about. So when the, so when Broken Realms Marathi dropped, she was given Ren 2 on her sphere. Uh, when the Battle Tome dropped a couple months later, uh, she was given Ren 1, and everyone was like, a bit strange. Uh, they then FAQ'd it to go back up to Ren 2. Uh, they've now removed it from the FAQ, so she's back to Ren 1. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it counteracts it's good. previous. It's good. I'm fine with that. 
Yeah. Uh, so, like, obviously, we can assume that's going to get FAQ'd again. But if it does, that's a joke. Five FAQs for, or like, five different. Well, so, yeah. Um, completely I, I reckon, stupid. I reckon work, they do the FAQs quite quickly. And then the people who write the FAQs go, fuck, we're out of a job if we do that. You know what we'll do is we'll cop them up and then we have to do a new one every time. Um, yeah. That's repeat business, isn't it? Yeah. That's... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> also, yeah, um, basically, just they just made sure that everything is a prayer and it all is very, very definite. Um, in terms of the end of spells, the Viper stayed pretty much exactly the same, which is scary because the Viper was very, very good before. Yeah. Um, so and now, now or? yeah, yeah, so it, it more than doubled. It went from 40, where to be honest, it was underpointed to 95. But I think, yeah, like, especially if you've got Marathi, who is obviously pretty well unkillable, um, that Viper moves 18 inches. Uh, oh, no, sorry, moves nine inches, sets up 18. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, basically you have a chance of just killing three models if you roll three dice and match or beat the wounds characteristic. So it's amazing against, like, two to four win models. You know, on average, you one-shot a five-wound hero with it. Um Really strong prayer. Uh, oh, sorry, spell. Um, so that will continue to see play. The yeah. Blade Wind used to do D3 mortal wounds, and you ignore cover when shooting it, um, or when attacking units that it affects. Uh, it's now just one mortal wound. Um, so probably, and it went up to 80 points, I think. So probably not worth it. Not when Viper's another sort of cut like 10 points and covers pretty yeah. you know inconsequential in this game um so yeah and then we've got the heart of fury the endless prayer this did see a change so basically it's a 12 inch bubble of minus one damage from attacks made to daughters of cane units in that bubble um what they've added is basically at the start of the combat phase you roll a dice on a one to five that just happens anyway on a roll of a six, uh, friendly units within that aura also get plus one attack, which is scary. Like, mm. it, it, obviously, like you know, it's not like you're you're not taking you're taking it for the damage. But if you roll that six, and like you say, you've got mind razor off that turn, oh mama! And um, did that heart go down in points? Yeah, so it was eighty. You know, I I, I ran it with some success, um, but it was over pointed at eighty. Uh, it's gone down to forty five. So, yeah, um, I think, you know, you could run a defensive Hagnar build uh, centred like, around casting on two objectives, which in AOS 3 is all you need, two objectives normally. Um, and, yeah, um, that heart becomes brilliant. Really, really good. So, yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to be building list with the heart in mind. Yeah, just see um, that game, But, yeah, I mean, basically, i I kind of been told beforehand about the, the changes to the heart and to blood rights. So, um Nothing really surprising. Doesn't really. I think the only thing which affects Doc is losing that one rend on Marathi. That's a big kick because you know rend two is great. Rend one with all these pluses to save about is yeah. pretty inconsequential. Um, so until that gets changed again, I hope. Otherwise, you know, I've wasted money on a model I probably won't bother running. Um, it's yeah, um, but yeah, it's much the same. But we're. Yeah, life goes on as a doc player. <laughs> cool. There we go. And just yeah, like, just, there's a, what are you going to say, Luke? I'm just saying we've had some uh, comments. Yeah, I was going to say, so there's there's a few that came in. I'm just going to go to Slothman straight away because it's on point. We'll go back to the others in a second. Uh, Slothman, maybe you can um, help out, Alex. says, I just started collecting a Snake Lady Center Daughter Kane army after the last codex drops of the battle tome now i don't know what to make of things so snakes are still the strongest way to play doc uh, and they're still very competitive um the reason i now rate them higher than like witch elves and stuff is basically the shields on the witch elves give them plus one to their save roll which means they they cap out at five up so you can never get them better than a five up which is really bad uh whereas snakes sit at a start of five up so you can give them a four up from the cauldron which you can work with um two inch reach on the spear, two inch reach on the spear snakes is awesome um they do some real work they move fast marathi is still an unkillable beat stick and then the blood stalkers you know like you can get three three rounds of shooting in a battle round like they're still done so yeah like you're completely like it's still very competitive you'll have a great time like don't worry about it everything's been nerfed awesome 
That's good to hear. And then going on to uh, catching up a bit with the chat, we've got Chase saying that the Corn Doom ball with Gore Cleaver will hit hard. Would you agree with that, Ben? I don't play Corn too much, so, but I'm not 100% you can actually give a coalition. Like, so, could you answer this one, Alex? So, can you give a coalition unit a item from the battle tome? Yeah. yeah, I believe so. Uh, the only, the only, um, what's the word? Can, like limitations of coalition units, as I understand it, is battle line. Uh, and, they are the, and they can't be general. And they can't be general. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, so I, know, yeah. I know the general one will affect slash, but other than that, yeah. So if, if they can't take the if they can't just take the item, yeah. Uh, the 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 other one is for corn anyway is they'll have access to the shagoth now which they previously didn't so that hits pretty hard he's also a caster mm -hmm. uh, if he's a wizard he can't go in coalition, yeah, go wi coalition right. wizards can't go into corn right okay right okay and then yeah, we so got... yeah no, but Do doomville will hit pretty hard then yeah they hit like a truck at that point and then you've got Adam saying that. Um, so this is going back to the shooting when you get in charge and see Sigma saying it has not been issued, but being received by a unit can only be received once per yeah. phase. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that explains it well. Yeah. Awesome. And it's, then, still, it's still really good, the ability to do it yeah. to multiple it, units. It's a free command ability yeah. in every return, and you can issue it more than once. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, I, I can tell you guys, I charged three Baron Guard into ten handgunners that came out of that combat phase after the shooting and everything with one Baron Guard. Because like, the thing is, is it used to be the case with handguns. You'd sit them behind uh, Phoenix Guard, uh, and your opponent could very easily like keep three inches out and then pile in. Uh, and so you, you've never triggered their shoot. Whereas now, you just sit those like 20 handgunners bang behind those Phoenix Guard, and... You know, you didn't really want to be charging those Phoenix Guard before, and now it's kind of doubled down on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. And then you've got thin line with Iron Drakes behind that as well. Just I mean, like... yeah, you could just have the, the meanest castle going, and everybody would hate you, and it would be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> just need a catapult to kick the sand castle over. Yeah. The, the snakes <laughs> only shall terrify the hell out of me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I have 15 they, snakes, only shell is just, it, it just sounds like misery. Yeah, I've, I've not been running 15 snakes at the moment because I'm trying to see what else is out there, but it, it still feels like the obvious. Oh, so you're trying to make friends then? Is that it? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to be one of those, like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm trying to be a good, a good war gamer and not a gamey bastard. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, they, those sort of people, we should just tell them, you know, when the lockdown restrictions are fully off, just. Just don't tell them about it. And they can just stay in the house. Um, so then you've got Attacker saying, yay, hey, mate. Glad you're okay. Thank you very much for joining. And then we've got, all right, with Dice Argus here. So he's saying, hello, everyone. He's now asking if we talk about the most important faction yet, which is his upcoming Ideneth Deepkin. So we, we haven't have. Yeah, it's gone through. It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, crap, yeah crap, it's way. I mean, so with... Uh, Dice Saga, it's a very narrative focused channel, a uh, very narrative focused gamer. Um, but because he's building an Ideneth army, he literally only has like three eels, but I'm 100 percent calling him out for soon, going to have like 27 of them. Um, so that is uh, that is that. So guys, keep uh, coming in the chat and stuff, let me know what you think, and I'll do my best to try and keep on top of it. So with that, the next one we're gonna look at is going to be a certain Dutchman's favorite army. And that currently, because, currently, you know why it lasts. <laughs> so, hi, hi. I'm the changer of ways. <laughs> oh, change of matter. Change yeah. of matter. <laughs> exactly. As long as you I say it's your, as long as you say it's your core army, then when you change to another army, you can just say you know it was destined by Zeech, wasn't it? So, disciples of Zeech, right, Max? What has changed? What are you happy with? What are you not happy with? Well, very little has changed. So. That is very good, in my opinion, outside that they got fucked on the points, but... Oh, they well, everybody got... Yeah. I, know, I remember, like, Flamers went up quite a bit and stuff, and, yeah, I remember quite a 
Pings went down five, didn't they? Like, yeah, they went five, five but mm, core rules I, also. I can see just... Ben's little Slanesh mind whirring. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like, Beast went really well with the uh, Z changes. <laughs> I mean, uh, we went down <laughs> on Enlightened, Zangor, the Shaman. Yeah, but it was, it was good. Yeah, it was good all around yeah. for them. But the important part is now we cannot take them as troop choices or battle lines anymore. Uh, things became expensive quite Can't fast. You know, not they still in your book? Um, it's anger, it's anger yes, it's but they are like one ninety-five points for a unit of ten. So do you know, do you know what you do? I mean, if you don't want to fill your battle line, you just take them from the Beast of Chaos book and you claim them as coalition. And they're less points. Yeah, you but you, you can not take them as coalition. Where does, say, where, where does it say you can't? You just take them as coalition and get them cheaper. Yeah. I'm you can take them as one, <laughs> one in four from the BC. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I think I think this is I think there there is something about like duplication. Well, I mean, I've had a look. It was something that we were talk I was talking about with some friends earlier yeah. and but like yeah, it's I'm, completely gamey, and, t and any TO is going to be like, get out of here, you being a knob. But <laughs> I think it's possible. Yeah, but <laughs> technically, you can take the rest of the line, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was told there was two what, types what are the advantages that you get from anyway? Because I mean, if you take they're cheaper. Eyes. No, because in Beast of Chaos, they're cheaper than in Z. Oh, no, I know, I know they're cheaper, but I mean, like, what bonuses? Because ah, you right. won't get the bonuses. Yeah, no, because they gain the keywords. They just wouldn't be battle line. That's the only yeah. thing that they'd lose. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, isn't it? That's the important part. I'm. Yeah. But getting, getting, on, getting on right now. Good. Basically, you lose like 100 points extra because your battle lines all went up like 20, 25, and 30. So oh, yeah, people. streamers didn't go up, did they? Uh. Dreamers went well, up twenty. There's a monster meta now, though, isn't there? So yeah, really fair cool. enough. Really but still, you still are locked to three battle line units. So yeah, necessary evil. All monsters also went up. So stack points on points. That's one. Hydras went down. Well, they're good. Hydras went down. Yeah, well, they they need to keep going down with those points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there should be three. <laughs> They, they they should be just like you know. Are you going to play Amber Hydras. God? Yes, you get two Caribbus and two Hydras. There yeah, you go. Free free. I, I um, love the little lizards, but <laughs> yeah, it always felt me every fucking time. I know. I remember like I think it's a battle report. The Cinderful game and took like four of them, and I can't remember if they did that well. But I, my, I hope my memory remembers them doing well. So with these disciples each then, um, is there anything else we want to talk about with them before we go um, on to the end of spells? Yeah, it's worth saying that so um, when the core rules came out, pink horrors were kind of unplayable because they, they couldn't go above max unit size. Um, so like when they split, you could never go above 10 models, whereas the split and split again rule basically states that they can ignore that rule. Um, but yeah, means that they are not yeah, which means that they're still broken as all get out. I don't know really how rally works with them, but yeah, they are bonkers. Um, prob other than the fact they don't split when they run away, they're as good as they've ever been. So you mm. need to make them flee. I see. Yep. Yes, it's just small, small changes. See, that's where you need the beast of chaos and the spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they, you can, and then you can't inspire presence. They're in. I mean, you're not going to do the damage to them because beasts don't do damage. Yeah. But at least you can still put down the one, the one on the desk. And, and you're also none of them, they might die. And yeah, and you're also never going to get it off because Kairos will just say no. But other yeah. than that, yeah. Kairos say no, and here's a spawn. Um, yeah. yeah. Play with. <laughs> so, right, then going on to the endless spells. So I'll be honest, I can't really remember what these endless spells did in the first place. And no, I, really against I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever take them. Uh, Sometimes people took burning. Uh, yeah. that was about it. Well, what them? Like the Tome of Ice was was pretty interesting with uh with Archeon in a normal Slaves to Darkness army. Has... basically what what you do did was take Archeon, take everything that gives you minus one bravery, the books used to give you minus three. I don't know if it still does that. Uh, probably not. 
No, it doesn't anymore. Which is sad, but basically you also used the the mercenary crit flares and you did 30 mortal wounds, which was fun. But that's all dead now, so mm. eh, who cares? So not enough for me to talk about them, apart from maybe yeah. got worse. Um and yeah. then slight 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 nerfs. The fl right. the flamers hit less good on bigger units. They used to get plus two on units larger than twenty. Now it's just plus one for ten. Yeah, and then we've got. Because, well, yeah, you can only have plus one. Yeah, so, so small changes like that. Uh, Salted flamers are elite, so they can issue commands on themselves. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we got just to say that Taka is saying that flamers are strong now. And pink separation going over start number. Yeah. So, what is it that makes you think the um, flames are strong? Because they're elites. Is that was that a thing? Did we just say mm. that? No. No, no, it's no, only no. the exalted flamers, the not the normal flamers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, the ones that are like 125 points apiece, mm. they're good, but expensive. I think I and, and they fix something in the Carrick Acolytes description. Uh, basically, it was first described like you have the special weapons and the shields, but it was described in a way that it seemed like you could take the glaives, but not the shields. And now it's fixed, so you can take glaives and a shield, which probably everybody did. But hey, no, officially <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's but now it's good. fixed. Everybody, everybody is happy now. So, hooray! Yeah. That's good. Well, I met someone earlier today. They weren't happy, but, you know, obviously didn't hear the news. And then going on to Taka now saying as well that Blue Scribes are nice now, which is cool. Oh, they, were, they were always nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, always like, yeah, we'll take that spell. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Um, and then we've got um, a race saying hi. Uh, so hi, I hope you're well. And he's saying uh, maybe Poster Boys will be winners with all what they stolen from Dead 2. Um, so the Stormcast Eternal is potentially becoming better when they have that new battle tone. Um, again, Stormcast Eternals, I mean, we haven't come across them yet in the FAQ. Obviously, they have had one, but they have got a new battle tone coming out around the corner. So we are going to have to wait fully until we get that battle tone to know. So, um, yeah, any last thoughts on the Disciples of Zeke before we move on to the next one? No, I don't think so. No, I think it, 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 just, yeah, it just holds them in pretty much the same place as... They were post the point strangers, yeah. Yeah, that's that sounds good. Um, well, I say that I don't want to fight against them. I don't know. You can't take the uh, demon fire rift, can they now? This is true. Although yeah, the demon, yeah, that, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so uh, with, yeah. with that, can Legion the first prince take that? Uh, yes, because it's a slaves to darkness army. Yeah, it's like a sub allegiance for slaves to dark. Yeah, so yeah. that means so Bellicor could take it then, and then then you could you could play the same fun because yeah, that we'll come to that. But yeah, it's like that's not changed. Small, spo small spoiler: you don't want it anyway. Yeah, it's it's. it's I think it's still playable in some lists, but yeah, really, it's not what it used to be. It's yeah. it's not worth it for a hundred points. Like yeah. me, me just thinking of my box of Slave Starters and the spells that I haven't even cracked the plastic open the box yet. Just like, oh, like some of the others are still good. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the Rapture. The, the Rapture is good. Yeah, yeah. Rapture is good. good. Yeah. Yeah. The Rapture, you know. Yeah, yeah. is interesting. The ones, they look superb. Like the Helix ones, the Corn ones. Did you say unicorns? Yeah, yeah, the unicorn ones. They're great. I was gonna say, uh, I'll, I'll be up for unicorns on the, the unicorn Kragnos that was get the picture up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it was amazing. Again. So good. Uh, Taka saying the bye bye to war chickens. Surely that's just you now bringing in um, not chimeras, cockatrices. <laughs> cockatrices are amazing. Cockatrices bring cockatrices oh, into your um, uh, zinc charm, and there's your, there's your war chickens. They're probably oh, no, you, Kyle, Kyle oh, is still an auto take, isn't he? Uh, he's hard. He's six. Expensive, but still very well, worth it. But is, yeah. how, how how much is Kairos again? Uh, for 40, for six. Sorry, you're saying the Keeper's Secret is 420. 
And it, and it's no, yeah, he's, no, he's 440 because he was 20 points more than the Keeper's Secret. Yeah, and the Keeper's Secret is 420 points. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so Schlassi Hellbane, I believe, now has 405 points, which I do in this book. <laughs> it's like, so well, bad. I mention this in every video I believe. Yeah. Um, so we can all agree. I I you got Schlassi Schlassi to get Hellbane, <laughs> sat next to my Corn Dragon, just forever, just talking about one go, well, I'm not very good in the game. The other one just saying, well, at least you're playable. At least you can legally be in the game. Right. <laughs> so going on to the FAQ ah. that the one and only one I've read. Um, it's 425. Three, we are going to talk about Dysaga's comment, which he put up a, a little while ago. So just on the INF uh, Deacon Army, uh, hence only painted the Starbucks set. We play match play games, but definitely not meta list. No, it's not meta. Just, just I, I really like the aesthetic of all the eels lined up and some of them being off the board um you, have so a, then, you need another start collecting box i'm trying to shift an idk start collecting box yeah so <laughs> this should be christian so inbox and in the discord about that um and then we've got um lacandras so again apologies i butchered your name but i know i've tried to read it out before so we've got good evening guys good evening mate hope you're doing well and then we've got uh, Neil saying, love the snake. So Neil is a local player uh, to mine. I'm sure I've mentioned on here before. Um, and he has been building up a Cavern Overlord army and a um, Doors of Cain army. And unfortunately, I am not available to play any games as soon as we are. <laughs> so, those are, I've only fought this KO once and I won. And that's how I want to keep things. Well, um, well come north and play Beast of Chaos, you know. I, I would rather pay the petrol slash diesel. Uh, K KO are rubbish now anyway. Are they? Okay, that's good. That's I good. mean, maybe that's about pushing it, but they are. <laughs> not, not the force that they were, I don't think. Well, I'm looking forward to the uh, FAQ when Alex says, yep, crap, move on. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So, flashy of courts. Now, I'm going to say there hasn't really been much change, but maybe a few keywords or that sort of thing from what I can remember. But we are going to obviously... Yeah. There is more... T I mean, the biggest thing to talk about with flashy of courts is not really what's changed in the FAQ, because... Apart from a tiny little technicalities here and there, not really much changed, um, hence why I read it quite quickly. But uh, the biggest thing, fleshy courts, and I think that someone put this in the chat. Is it something um, about Yeah, so um, Taka said, how do you feel about fleshy courts, gristle gore, uh, with only being able to do feeding frenzy once? Now, as a fleshy court player, I can say I never played gristle gore because I'm not that sort of person. I did this. I did the nice thing by not picking Gristle Gore and uh, going for a delusion, which was Feast Day, which allowed me to do Feeding Frenzy once per turn for free. So twice in the battle round. And um, not being able to do that anymore has left me... I could do two things. I could be sad that my very powerful and kind of main ability in the Flesh of Court Army is no longer what it once was, or I could look at this as a new and exciting way to embrace the challenge of list building in trying to create new lists in the new age of Warhammer Age Sigma when we go into third edition just around the corner. Anyone you're pushing for a sponsor, are you? You What's might that? find as you're well. pushing for a sponsor, are you? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, so to put it in context, yes, it uh, one, a guy I play pretty much every week, uh, Hippie Chef on the Discord, he's been playing Fleshy of Courts non-stop for about eight months now. He's been grinding, you know, like multiple games a week. Like, he, and he's been doing really, really well with them. He's completely dropped them as of now. He's just like, oh, not completely, but he's just like, there's almost nothing I can do with this. It's so, like, there's just so many things. It's coherency. Um, yeah, it's obviously feast day. Uh, it's losing the battalions. It's just, yeah. All it's sorts also, of what, what you might I also kind of weird. feel, I'm just going to say, I kind of feel, you know, the courtiers are bringing back models. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like other armies can kind of do that now anyway. I mean, you can double down on it, so that's kind of nice. We can, uh, I can see double it, okay. Well, as, in, as in you could do rally first and then you could do the courtiers thing. Yeah. Because then you could bring your cryptoras and they could they could win you the game. Um, especially yeah, no, in the... You might, you might find is that Feast Day might get another FAQ down the line, which uh, would mean that you get basically a bit like one of those rules where it's like you can do feeding frenzy without it being issued yeah that that's why i thought it would be with the faq when it was things yeah. like that because i sense. feel like that might be what comes if we do get another um faq in not too distant future but, but might, I, mean, I, mean, too, right? I mean it might be might be a bit of a problem as a 
to say this as a fleshier court player and i love my army but isn't it a bit saying something like what makes your army good well the, the fact that i can i can spam making all my terror guys fight first and like you know we're not fight first but fight you know twice in a row and all that sort of thing wouldn't it be good if the army had something else like perhaps like, you got smash yeah, yeah. more well, than like, what is it six models <laughs> well, well more, more than just you know my thing gets to attack you twice i don't know just just spitball here from an army that's literally made out of a start collecting box um but okay so that's what we think about i mean flesh i mean uh did any i think they all stayed the same yeah the terrain piece you can garrison that now as well can't you yeah that's that's changed yeah that's changed which, which, which is massive yeah it's defensible yeah. that's nice and i think like it said like the ghoulish landmark that used to say uh, enemy units were um, treated as sinister. You treated it as inspiring, and now it's just that, but just worded more simply. It would, have, would have been nice if the charnel phone had picked up the uh, totem keyword. That'd have been nice. Right. How could it? It's not a unit. Oh god, no! Because the um, doesn't the oh uh, gloom spike gets thing? Doesn't that have the totem keyword? I'm not sure. I don't know. Actually, I'll check. Give me a second. Yeah, because I, I I thought that did have the totem keyword. I I, I might be wrong, and uh, yeah, yeah, but that's well. We'll keep we'll keep that as a possibility. Yeah. Luke. Don't, don't worry, I remember. Um, right, just just so everyone knows, um, when it comes to, if you're watching this on demand, I've been doing a um ad hoc uh, ability of writing down the timestamps. So bear with me if suddenly, it's when not you, especially at courts, it brings you to now. Um, but that's just something that we'll have to bear with. I reckon we started talking about flashy Accords about five minutes ago. So that's what that's what I'll write. Um, but what I will say is that um, for Flashy Accord players, there are many other armies available to you in Age Sigma that you can um, collect. And I've done wide play videos for all of them. I can so, also say that if you've been doing... I mean, Beast of Chaos being the main one. If you've been doing Gristlecore, <laughs> can I uh, point you in the direction of Solve Like Grave Lords and going down the Avangori route? Um, <laughs> it's a very easy transition for you. Yeah, but 10 hours of content. <laughs> ten, yeah, uh, ten, 10 hours of 40, 46 minutes and 35 seconds, I believe. Yeah. See. Uh, if and only there was something for Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> I've, li I've literally had someone ask me to do a video on Nurgle of like how they've changed in third edition. And I'm just like, don't worry about your Blight Kings. Think about something else. Um, <laughs> so uh, th there has been like suddenly just like everyone in the chat now. So I'm just yeah. going to catch up on that. So we have, so that's Fleshy of Corks, guys. Um, don't get me wrong. I think you could still have fun with them. And um, that's all I'm going to say in that very generic statement. And then we've got. Um, um, Obsistence uh, saying you guys done OBI yet? Just got here. No, mate, we have not done that yet. So don't worry, stick around and we will get to it. Um, Taka was saying I feel Grisagor are a bit limited. They certainly are. Um, and then Super Moon Lord is saying no OBI, OBI yet. Yep, such and that. Um, OP indeed, I agree. Taka saying I think that was feeding frenzy. Yeah. And then look, well, saying flesh at your courts, uh, feeding frenzy is the reason I think it's important not to be too. Uh, reliant on one ability or command ability because if you don't have plan b you're one faq from oblivion i think that's a fair fair statement just be nice if games workshop gave us another like you said like um what's his name hippie chief uh was it hippie chief hippie chef hippie chef yeah uh yeah like he he spent like if i think i've got a lot of hours clocked to the flesh at core player not nearly close to what that guy has like, like if like you know the hours I put into TTS, right? Yeah, he's he's put the same amount in all with flesh eater courts. So guys, we're, we're talking like hundreds of hours. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say I can check. We can have a look at his. Uh, we can look at Alex's. Um, and then TTS. We don't really. We don't. We don't need. That. Alex sometimes like Alex has got a problem with his computer where he has to leave it on TTS even when he's at work. So you know, don't judge <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. And then we've got Taka saying. Um, Ghoul King on Royal Terrorgeist. Um, Grisogor times one um, is there now. It allows an explode. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're going to stop talking about Flesh of Courts and Grisogor. Okay, that's what all the comments are about. That's fine. Um, so I like uh, the fact that Radica the Wolf um, underlining can be taken uh, their own units now and not lumped together, which is kind yeah, of up. Yeah, that's great. We'll get, 
we'll get yeah. to that when we talk about soul blight that's a good point um you made there donald and then uh raced is saying um and gristle gore was really a cheap to uh buy free star case boxes which you could get for 50 euros um here yeah. And then the only missing part was the arch region. Yeah, mate, I literally did a video on how to start flashing the courts. Like, we're talking a matter of weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, uh, the video is still relevant. And then going on to Chase and oh, just looked at the Stormcast rules. Some interesting changes. Lots of re-rolls are gone, though. Yeah, that's something we've seen for quite a few armies, I think, re-rolls going. Yeah, re-rolls um, are on the right now. Because they want them to feel more elite, don't they? You know, like, if we looked at the world that what? Well, the world it was. Second edition. Um, if you looked at like plus one to wound was quite rare, and then they probably try to make re rolls a similar sort of rarity. Uh, and then Neil from earlier was saying that no more conga lines of courtiers is a good thing, yeah. So I used to play quite a bit against Neil and used to with my flesh air courts, you know, just have lines of going, Well, there's like one flare within range of the Vargolf, and then suddenly the Vargolf rolls hot, and then four more flares just managed to conga line out onto an objective and stuff. So that's what he's referring to. Uh, Race is uh, replying to someone else. Uh, have you seen Skaven Spells? No, we haven't been there yet, mate. Don't you worry. Um, Avangori are garbage, is what Takra is saying. Now, I remember you, Alex, saying that it wasn't your favorite sub legions from the Soul Blood Grave Lords book. They're, they're getting better. Like, with all the changes to monsters, like, monster mash is a thing now. Like, yeah. Cool. And, and I will say, I wasn't saying that they are the, the top meta to go play. I'm just saying it's an option if you want to drop your fellow. I, I do I do want to have a game with them, Avon Gory. Are Mortis Engines, are they monsters? No. 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 Damn it. I think if you take, I reckon four Mortis Engines there, you're going to have a great time. Like the shooting potential. Yeah. No, no. Take, take like three Mortis Engines of the Common Throne. Because you, you want the command ability buff from the Common Throne. Because it's the plus one. Save and plus one to wound, or is it more to engine? Wound. Yeah, but you don't want the more engine in combat, yeah. But you have that in the back, buffing your unit, so then I'll have your three. You could, all, all I'm saying with the Mortis engines, just so they go boom, boom, boom with the more wins. Yeah. Um, what, 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 can you use the mortal engine uh shooting ability if you're getting charged? Yes. Um, so then Christopher Taylor is saying, um, have you done Nighthorn yet? Uh, did they get anything? We haven't done that yet, but stick around and we will shortly. Uh, Sloth is saying, looking forward to Nighthorn part as well. Cool. And then um, get to OBR. We're kind of not happy. We can't <laughs> use any generic command abilities. I mean, I know like swearing's going out the window, but sometimes YouTube is happy, sometimes they're not. Despite I say none of this is suitable for kids. If you are under 18, keep watching um <laughs> can't use any generic right. command abilities and can't stack own ones yeah I, I haven't read it myself mate but i heard they got you know a bit um shafted yeah no. a bit, you know, so bottom. I, I actually don't believe that like as in petrifix elite is the back to being the hotness like they're really good really good and they reroll ones to say still they were now that now they've gone back to pre-faq which is ignore cool. rend one or ignore rend one so That's basically plus one. So, so, now you, so, so, now, so now you're going to have a 30 block of Mortec Guard uh, who you're going to have re-rolling saves every turn, ignoring Rend 1. Okay. So this, yeah. And Rend, like, Rend minus, ignoring minus one Rend doesn't sound nearly as good as plus one to save, but I suppose there's going to be more Rend in the game now to deal with all this. All also, if, if you've got a four-up re-rollable save against no Rend, you're saving... What twenty five percent? Seventy five percent. Yeah, sorry, seventy five percent of what goes through. So, like, you're already like, especially if you've got like a harvester backing up with another four up to bring models back. Like, you're barely losing any of your more tech against no rent. Like, you needed rent to deal with them anyway. Um, so yeah, no. Like, again, been talking about this with some friends, and like, yeah. Well, we'll get to it when we talk about them. But there's definitely ways to make OBR uh, competitive still. Cool, awesome to hear. And then you've got Taka saying terror guys uh, need heal. So I presume if that's if you just take royal terror guys and they don't get the healing. Um, so then we've got Arnold being an absolute legend as per usual. This is a standard thing for Arnold too. And I never really um, under appreciate it, which is he's chucking at one euro ninety nine um, to the channel. So thank you very much for that, Arnold. That's really really kind of you. I'm glad you're enjoying the content, mate. Um, and then we've got uh, 
Chris G saying, really enjoying this channel. Uh, these chats are great. Awesome to hear, mate. And then we've got um, Obsessant saying, it's reduced rent by one, uh, not ignore uh, one, i.e. rent two is uh, rent one. Yeah, so that's fine. So if you're, we'll get, we'll get to OBR soon. And yeah, I think that's pretty much what everyone else is talking about. We're not talking about OBR right now. So we are going to be talking about the Fire Slayers. Now, Fire Slayers, um, I haven't got very much experience against them. I but the can... whole idea has... Been... Yeah. I've played against them twice. The Hearthgarth Berserkers are now... Hearthgarth Berserkers were the good ones, right? So, yeah, so basically Fire yeah. Slayers are nerfed into the ground. They're no longer a big bogeyman. Um, having looked through the FAQ... Runic firewall has changed, and about that's about it. Everything else is just sorting out their prayers. Um, I didn't see anything having played against them quite a bit. I didn't notice anything else that needed talking about. Yeah, because you said you've got a buddy who you, I remember you every time I used to have a game against you, you said, Yeah, like either that day I played against you or like a day ago you fought against my slides. <laughs> it was a horrible time to be, it was a horrible time to be alive. He's, oh, he's a guy, he's a guy good player now, which I don't think is much better, <laughs> really. Like yeah, Gargan. he runs. Yeah, Kragnos, two gargons, and then one baby gargon. It's scary. Mm. Wow, that, that is yeah. fun. So, Go Gotrex pretty good in five slows, right? He's he's really cheap now. Yeah, yeah, Gotrex good. Um, I believe in one of the lodges you can fight in the hero fence, um, and it's just friendly units. So. Yeah, you can make Gotrek fight in the hero phase and maybe Lothnir. I don't know. They also oh, have to me. So do. Mm. Uh, but yeah, basically, Runic Firewall now gives. I don't think it blocks line of sight anymore, um, but it is impassable unless it's a magma drop or it flies. And um, it also gives a ward save um, to one unit uh, holding within 12 inches of it. So on a one to five, it's a six upward save, and on a six, it's a four upward save, um, which for like Volkite nice. Berserkers and Auric Hearthguard and stuff like that is kind of nice. Obviously, Hearthguard get a four up anyway. Um, but yeah, to my eyes, everything else is just uh, clearing up, uh, wording the needed clearing up for the new edition. Cool. And uh, nicely put. I do just want to say that Taka has said that he's called them the Macho Babies. And then he says that my pal has them and he has a lot of dragons. He has also has his army packed up and is now on eBay, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. Um, but, you know, Fire Slayers, I mean, just just become a shooting army. And then the next thing we've got. OK, so uh, Mr. I think there's a lot of stuff about saves that's all about OVR. Um, so we won't be talking about that until we get to it. Um, Arnold is saying that Mr. Fair Bit, uh, sun's been covered yet? No, not yet, mate. Don't worry yeah. about that. Sure Alphabetical can... order. Pardon? Alphabetical order it is. Yeah, so, so basically, yeah. So like we did say this at the start, obviously people have joined um, since. So we are literally just going through this. And we're going from the top to the bottom. As you can see, we've still got a lot to go through. So we will be... Um, quite drinking, lo drinking lots of tea, yeah. Drinking lots of tea. I'm, I'm, Alex, I'm, Alex, I'm, Alex has done the long haul before, uh, he knows what these are like, especially when I say it'll be a quick one today. And I didn't even say that. Yeah, um, no. so I'm thinking, what's this map? But this is obviously about the bad moon, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, right, gloom spikes. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's about a time I haven't really looked at for about two years. So, when I had a, uh, no, a little bit when I did start collecting video but i've never even played against them right so the I, main main... I, i've played this a couple of times that they are a lot of fun to play against oh they're, they're a great army yeah, yeah so this is july 2020 i mean i'm not going to know the bad news change if anyone knows here and if anyone doesn't know out of us five and you do know put it in the comments because i'm not reading yeah. all that the <laughs> bad doesn't look like it's yeah. changed it looks like it's the same as it has been yeah, because these are just questions and answers, aren't they? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, um, okay. something that has changed within Gloomscape Bite. 
was um, Scragrot has the had the command ability where he could uh, kind of keep the bad moon where it was for a turn. Uh, but basically, it happened in between battle rounds when in 3.0 you don't have any CP. Um, so they've now FAQ'd it so that Scragrot is just like an ability, so he does it for free without spending a command point once per game. Right. Um, so that was needed because at that point before this, Scragrot was fairly unplayable in kits. Um, so that was nice. Um, we need a change there. But yeah, gone. I don't, I don't know gets super well, so I'm just looking through for anything that stands out. I mean, like, like I say, I've, I've got the battle time, so I could do a direct comparison, but we've got a lot of armies to get through. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, that obviously, um, if any guys have any specific questions, I can put in the comments and I'll, I'll look into it. Um, so with spider fangs are still a valid army, so oh, they're the best army, everyone with spiders. I, yeah, if the I mean, they'll, they'll give Avangoria a run for their money, from what I've heard. Um, they'll give Avangoria a run for their money, yeah, yeah. So, they, I mean, we know Spider Fang has commonly known uh, the best artillery in the game, doesn't it? I believe it does have the flinger, um, yeah. and I think that's probably just going to be even more important in a uh, 3.0. Um, yeah. so I, I doubt any of this has made Spider Fang any better. I don't know if your opponent's arachnophobic, you've got your winner there. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's just like saying to your opponent though oh do you, do you mind we don't play at the local you know store today so like, okay yeah sure where do you want to play australia you know it's only going to help you so much uh, um, yeah especially while i start gluing gro uh, goblins to the back of like real life spiders and just put yeah them. this is the burning <laughs> spider it's the size of a plate yeah it's, it's awful isn't it um it moves wherever it wants to move <laughs> Roll 3d6 and watch it go. <laughs> yeah, you may now cry. Exactly. So we've got that, and then we've got some endless spells to go through. But I do just want to say that we have had really, really nice donation from uh, Craig, giving the channel five dollars. It's really, really kind of you, mate. I do generally appreciate that. Honestly, every time anyone throws money towards the channel, it does go straight towards keeping me alive. So that's fantastic. Thank you yeah, so much. Uh, um, some said... disc. Fun. Go on somewhere on disc for his question. Okay, so. Thanks for all the great content. You're very welcome. I'm new to Warhammer slash OS slash Wargaming in total. Well, congratulations for joining a great community. It says, I'm painting Archaon and have painted six Varengard. You painted them already or like to be painted because they're painted already. I mean, you've done better than most people who want a Varengard army. Um, what else? For my my art. 2K... Exactly. What else for my 2K list? So last time I played that, I'd say put Bedicor in. However, Bedicor used to be very cheap because it used to be very small. Um, but I wouldn't do that. But... Probably um, a Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Um, but then I'm again, it doesn't need to be your saves anymore, isn't it? Well, that's like going into content we haven't covered yet. Um, I'll take a Chaos Lord on foot to make things attack twice, and they are painty soon. Um, so that's really, really good. I think... So the quickly one, I know we're getting off topic, the Chaos Sorcerer Lord on foot, but can he still make people um, re your saves? No. <laughs> that's one save. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll, tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what I took, mate. I mean, it, it's a bit different, but I took, um, I like allied in Chaos Warhounds and stuff to uh screen my Varengard and stuff like that. So, like, you can look outside the box, but I'll I'll give you a better answer, Craggy. You stick around when we go through the Slaves of Darkness FAQ, and I know a bit more on that. If uh, you're into screen, then it's Untamed Beasts, absolute winner with that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they are. It, Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Chaos Warhounds because of how the um, how uh, coherencies work. Yeah, they're not nearly as good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Und Untamed Beasts is so good for screening. Same as Umbral Raiders. Yeah. Absolutely exactly. superb. And um, and he's also saying uh, he's actually painted ninety five percent of Bellacore. So yeah, I'd say put Bellacore in your list, mate. Right. Um, he's good, and you're very welcome, Craig. Like, so when we stick around, and we'll go through the Slaves Darkness one, and not too long, hopefully, and then uh, can answer your question more. Uh, I know some of you guys have put some more things in the chat. We're just going to quickly go through these spells here. Anyway, this is important, and then I'll get to your questions. Um, so we've got the Malignant Moon. Uh, I believe a load of these things went up in points, didn't they? Like Skull Tide doubled. Skull Tide uh, doubled. got worse. And got worse, which is, I think, a good combo, obviously. Um, I just remember Scarlet Tide being a pain to, to get across, but you can walk through it now anyway. So Exactly. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong on this, but 
uh, I think it used to not affect Gloom Spike units, and now it only doesn't affect Spider Fang units. No, no, no. Beforehand, it didn't affect it didn't affect Spider Fang. Oh, so that's the same. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. So, but has got it was amazing to have such a big base size. Yeah. And just so Spider Fang's been one of the ones where it's been. Do I? Don't I? Do I really need another fluffy army? Or yeah. You have enough yeah. bad armies, man. I know, I know. <laughs> so surely, surely you want to win a game once in a while. Um, not saying you can't win games. Yeah, but, but when you win as beasts, you know, people buy, they, they appreciate it. <laughs> they write songs about your great victories, I'm sure. All, all four of them for the entire of 2.0, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can safely say that you're probably the best peace player in Yorkshire, slash probably the only one. Um, so probably there you go. Yeah, so but what we can say the Bam Moon Loon Shrine, like a lot of things, has now got the defensible um, ability and can be garrisoned by 30 models. Yeah, but which is massive, right? Like, most of the things that have been garrisoned aren't that many models. Mm, yeah, that's, like, it's a huge strain piece, isn't it? So it feels yeah, right. it is, it is massive, but also being able to have 30 things in there is that, that's really good. Yeah, fill it full of um, what's the one, uh, fanatics 30 fanatics in there. We can't, but yeah, but you know, ten fanatics. But your fanatics don't count as garrisoned. They can't be unit, so you so can't you can fanatics yeah. in a garrisoned unit. Yeah. So you, yeah, you, you put the unit in, and then you pop them out of the of the garrison. Yeah. Could be yeah, yeah. Like Thirty or was it twenty? Like bow guys, ten fanatics. Have fun. Yeah. Is that the um I might be completely wrong here, but is that quite a big change for that bad moon shrine, or am I just not remembering right? No, that's not change. It wasn't garrison before. No, 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 yeah. about bringing things back. No, no, no that was all yeah. Well, I thought it was just shooters or stabbers. What does it say now? Trolls, no. spiders. Um so it's, it's, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's changed. Yeah, so it used to be that you had right. to take the specific sub allegiance. Um so it was like you took what was it, Glogs, Mega Mob, or the Squiggle Arch to get access to bringing back the trolls or the squigs. Um, whereas, yeah, now you can just do it in general, uh, which is awesome. Yeah. That's a nice change, isn't it? Well, I that's don't know good, how yeah, strong it is, but like, that's, I like okay, that. So, no, no, so, no, no, so it's, if your general has the squig keyword, then you do squigs. If you're, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's the same, but clarified now. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. It's a lot cleaner, uh, yeah. Right, so that is going to be Git. So I'm just going to read through um, some of this chat, though, before we go on to the next one. Uh, and then, so basically saying that uh, we're not interested if Gunnysweig Gits are fun to play against, only if they are fun to play as only kidded. So as I can say, like, I've never, I've gone against them, like, once since they've been Gunnysweig like, Gits. That's how a few times I've gone against them. But I can say when I spoke to, like, Anthony from the OS coach. He's a massive fan of them. It was one of his favorite armies. Um, he said they're one of his funnest armies to play because when his opponent asks him, what can your army do? Uh, the coach responds by saying, I don't know, because your movement is things like 3D6, 2D6, all these crazy things that happen. And, you know, it's an army that can uh, actually contains fanatics. So what is there not to like? They're going to be just as fun as they were to play before. Um, so Arnold saying that this looks to become an all-nighter. Well, no, we're determined not for that not to happen. Um, so, uh, God, there's so much stuff. Um, I mean, you guys are definitely not you guys. Anyway, <laughs> going to determine to make it that. Um, but we have got uh, Takase and Bellicor is mean. Shut down uh, my flesh ear court. Green spike. Uh, not green spike. I'm getting my bloody things mixed up. Right. Okay, that's responded to me. Okay, so if I've missed any of your chat, because we've had quite, a, like, there's 80, nearly 90 people watching this now. So if I miss any of your um, chats and stuff, let's do it again, uh, but at me as well, so it's easier for me to read as well, just so I don't, because I don't want to be reading things out. What, um... And if it's from five minutes ago, give context. <laughs> yes, as, exactly. Um, but we have got uh, Tom saying that it's just the White Dwarf editions added, so things we get. Uh, the Loon Shrine, I mean, cool, that's fantastic. Right, so going on to the next one, which is, oh, we can hey. skip one, so I'd miss it. <laughs> right, Ben. Yeah. Um, so none of us are going to, you know, neither of us are going to enjoy reading through this. 
but it's yeah. something that has to be done to make certain people happy um to yeah. get it over with and you know that's something that uh, so we've got the same yeah. thing as we had with the blades of corn so with the two and four with the coalition units from the slow starters yep. book as well as the one in four with the beast of chaos mm -hmm. which it's it's pretty good as we, we get exorcism cheap units that could actually do a bit more damage because head knights have had an issue with a very high points increase then there's the there's there's also a clarification on the uh, total acquiescence so that can be used more than once in a round. So if you've got your Vice Leader, your Blade Bringer on Chariot, they can both use it for that reroll one to hit, mm -hmm. which is works in both shooting and melee, which is pretty good because we don't have many we don't have a lot of access to reroll melee uh, reroll shooting it. Cool. So, so yeah, I mean there's not a lot of there's, there's not a lot of synergy in that he knights and Snesh book, so it's good that you can yeah. keep that. So, other, other big changes. So, the Shalaxi Hellbane has received a little bit of a nerf. Shalaxi's lost the reroll and has a plus Shalaxi one. Shalaxi Hellbane's yeah. received another nerf. I know, I know. So, Shalaxi's. What? I mean, she wasn't even worth taking in like 300 points. Yeah, I know. 405. I know. So, she? yeah, it's now one to hit rolls rather than the rerolling hit rolls. So it's not great, and and she actually has the plus one to save with the refined sensors ability, and then the shot speaker again another little bit of a nerf. It's only add one to the save roll rather than add two. So that's a, a why? Bit of a shame. Why? So, yeah. <laughs> and then pain bringers they have the rerolls. They have the uh, rerolls built in. In melee, and now it's only plus one to save rolls with melee weapons to target the unit. So they've taken a bit of a nerf, as well as the points increase, which is a massive shame. Uh, the Dread Pageant, that's just had the update from previous FAQs, which is giving the bow wielder an actual melee attack. And then some big, cha big changes. So the wheels have stayed roughly the same as this mesmerizing mirror. The big change that we have had with spells for Slanesh is the dreadful visage. So that was that was 40 points, it's now 90 points. So points. it's over hundred percent more than it was. Well that's fine. It's it's actually fine. So it keeps the terrifying entity, which is the subtract brave minus one bravery from units within twelve inch that, and then it adds one bravery to slash units within twelve inch. Mm -hmm. However, the flensing tongues have changed massively. So you pick a unit and then roll. Yeah, roll six times for a unit with a six inch of it. For each four plus, it suffers a mortal wound. But if the unit suffers a mortal wound, the always strikes last effect applies, which is massive. It's really good. So you, you can target you can target that big unit that you don't want to get in combat with, or if you only got two combats with, with the always strikes last. Have like your Sigvold always strikes first. You have. Something else go next, and then you can have, you can essentially have three activations in one go. So Jeff Visage is it's amazing. So so that's a yeah. spell that's always looked really cool. Never has been that good, but it's now useful. So that's now good. really good, yeah, absolutely superb, and well worth ninety points. Yeah, that's that's cool. Then so, that's, so something good has came out of the Heat Knights Sinesh, uh FAQ. No, no, yeah, and it's, maybe. It's Maybe some people will say some things that are bad have came out of this, but you know, there's always going to be people who say that. There's a lot uh, of things bad came out of it, but at least we got the thing is, at least we finally got something positive coming out of something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much, gentlemen. But no worries, Luke. We'll catch yeah, you around later. My internet's crashing out, so I'll catch you all later. Catch you, cool. Luke. See you later, mate. Bye.
clearly doesn't want to be here for the all nighter. Right, no, no, thank no. you very much for joining. Yeah. Um, so, but, and the fane is essentially stayed the same. So it's the add one to hit rolls. You can sacrifice a artifact to permanently have the hit rolls. So that, yeah, that's the same. The only thing that's changed is it's now impassable, and then the setup is slightly different. But everything else is the same as in the previous hidden nest book. Okay, so pretty. But pretty like, pretty I think the main takeaway is like the Dreadful Visage is really damn good now. Yeah. Okay. okay well that's so that is something good we have got for Sanesh. There we go. Yeah. We are solid. I I I think Sanesh is a perfectly good army, and um, one oh. that is rightly balanced. Yeah, I think they're great. Though I, lo I do love them. Uh, uh, ben, ben, we all know you love them because of how much you try and make them work. <laughs> like, so, so, I've been trying to make this for like 20 odd years. So. Fair, fair play to you, man. Fair play to you. I think, um, yeah, so there you go. And exactly. And, you know, if anyone wants to join the Discord, there's a link to that in the description of this video where Ben is there and he would happily try and give you some advice with your um, He Knights of Sinesh army. So, right, and then we're going to go on to an army that certain one of us played quite a bit, which is going to be Eidneff Deepkin. So, Alex, how long has it been since you looked at this army? Um, month or two. Like, I'd, I'd kind of, yeah, keep an eye, and the moment they get a new book, I'll probably collect them, just the current book. I'm a, a little bit meh about It's quite an old book, isn't it? Yeah, we'll see what the new book holds, and then I might get them. And um, um, is there anything you've seen here in the FAQ? Yeah, there's quite a few things. Um, so firstly, there was a very weird old argument where basically in, uh, oh God, one of the several allegiances, you got reroll ones to wound on your mounts. But because it's an old book, they didn't have mount subheadings. So some people tried to claim that like the, the eels weren't a mount because they didn't say they were a mount. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, they've cleared, they've cleared all that out. They've given a list of what has mounts, so that's cool. Um, a very good nerf is they've changed Cloud of Midnight. Um, so Cloud of Midnight, basically, at the start of your at the start of A phase, you can make your character who has the artifact uh, untargetable by attacks. Uh, and basically, the play used to be that you would, against a shooting army, you'd put this guy out front, at the start of the shooting phase, you'd activate it, uh, and then with the Ideneth um, Forgotten Nightmares ability, uh, where you have to target the closest person, you'd have or the closest enemy unit, you'd have to target that unit. But because they'd activated the Cloud of Midnight, you couldn't target them. So basically, a, a whole shooting army just couldn't do anything for a turn. Uh, now, basically, it says that um, the well, yeah, the wording is is that the Cloud of Midnight they're ignored when. Um, yeah, in this phase where the bearer releases the Cloud of Midnight, they are ignored when determining the closest Ideneth model uh, for the purposes of Forgotten Nightmares. So now basically you can just target the unit behind. So that's great. Uh, it's still a good artifact, but with less of the feel bads. Um, yeah, so that's I really think, good. Yeah. Um, what else was there? There were some other things. Um, you now can't have two big boats. You just have two you can only have one big boat or two halves of a boat which is good um it used to be with volturnos that to get his command ability he had to be the general that was no longer the case so you know give means you can put an artifact and stuff on some of your other guys uh well a command trait i should say rather than an artifact yeah. um and then yeah just to say like um that's about it Tacker in the chat saying, uh, deep love for IDK, and then saying gloom tie to the ship is um, uber nerfed, and one full, uh, no more two full ships. Sorry, you purchased a second. I mean, what I'd say is that, I mean, I think as someone who's played against a lot against IDK, I think it's um, quite a negative play experience because, like, I can't you put it in my deployment zone and then I'm just ah, like... You're like this. You can know, Now it has to be deployed in your deployment, in, in the IDK player's depo deployment zone, I believe. I saw that talked about somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, That's so after cool. territories are, are determined, you can set up this faction terrain uh, wholly within your territory and more than three inches from all objectives. So you can no longer block your opponent in, which is amazing for the game. 
Yeah, it's pretty figured. So on that one, then, there's a lot of other ones that have had that. So mm -hmm. previously, the Hearthstone was wholly within your deployment zone. So because, obviously, deployment zone is massively different from territory yeah, yeah. In, in a few things. Now, that, that's a big change. I think that's probably going to be a change for quite a lot of things. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, so... Yep, so that's good. So yeah, a few nerfs, um, but all things that were needed, that like they were unhealthy for the game as they were. Um, so yeah, no, I dig it. I like I like the IDK FAQ. Uh, it makes me want to yeah play them more. Yeah, yeah which is There's good. There's still though. one feel bad thing in my opinion that's still not addressed here. So basically, the unrendable shield eels. Yeah, have this weird rule that you get plus one on your characteristics when you charge when you charge when you save. So they're still two plus unrendable yeah. when you charge. So, eh, don't yeah. think that's a good idea. Still, but for no, sure, you'll see. But at least it won't stack now with the um. Like it's not like they can charge and then get the stack from the the turn. No, that's, can. that's the point. They can. So because oh. so because it's not adjusting the save roll, it literally adds one to the save characteristic when they charge. They get that and they get a plus one from um, the turtle. So it's the roll that is um, moderated. Yeah. Mo yeah, exactly. It's the roll okay. that's get that can't be modified by more than one, not the characteristic. Yeah. So the. the... Dragon of Shagoth gets that as well with their command ability, as that can get mm -hmm. onto their, their uh, armor save, their save. Mm -hmm. So with that, you, know, you can get a two plus. Then with the yeah, it's it's pretty good. Anything that anything that does anything to the characteristic is is far superior. Yeah, I'm learning that now. Um, yeah, so IDK have done a fantastic job since their like I said, their book is over three years old now. And it's managed to ride out whatever storm agency was structured it really. So like yeah. it's so they're still going strong. Um, okay, so um, so I see Taka saying, uh, "What about wild well, wood?" Um, we'll we'll get to the silver nest stuff in a in a moment, mate. Um, so oh. the next one is going to be Caradon. Well, I say a moment. I think silver nest is quite far down, <laughs> but Caradon yeah. overlords. So um, you say they've got worse. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of things aside from the FAQ, which has made them worse, like the change to triumphs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big thing for them. But um, something, um, kind of the only thing that I can see that the FAQ's really changed is it's changed how fly high works. So it used to be that um, they could, uh, I think it's, um, they could retreat and, or it was either retreat and or retreat or disengage. Uh, and basically, with um, disengage, you, you're not allowed to disengage if you if they are within three inches of a flying unit. Uh, with the FAQ, the fly high is now just a disengage, which basically means that if they're in, if one of the boats are in combat with a flying unit, they can't fly high, which they used to be able to. Um, so yeah, put a flying unit into one of those boats, and they're stuck there. Ah, Cockroach's matter. There we are, Max. That's what you want. <laughs> Woo. Or, or streamers. Um, and also it's things like, at the moment, the boats have to not move in order for the um, garrisons inside them to exit. Um, so literally they have to stay still that turn in order for them to... Um, so yeah, like, KO are still good because they've got lots of shooting and shooting is strong. Um, but yeah, definitely nerfed. But that was the main thing that I saw. Everything else... Meh, I think. Cool. As, as as someone who's played against KO twice, once being about four years ago, and the other one being when this book came out, I I think that that is enough of an expert of an answer to the FAQ question of KO. Um, anyone got anything else to say? No, that's uh, uh, like. Also, awesome. on to the next one. Right. Let's go. Yeah, that was quick. That was a quick timestamp. Right. Um, Lumineth Realm Lords. Skip so it. You, Skip it. The FAQ just says they're getting a new book at some point within a month. Is that? Two months. Two months. Two months. Okay. Right. On to, any any news in the Lumineth Realm? Again, that's an army I've barely played. Like, I don't really know what would have changed. 
Well, uh, okay. I've had a bit of an update with the uh, rule certification of the core rule book. So, if something with their miscasts, it go the the damage goes to the unit rather than the caster. Okay. So that that's that that's the that we'll come to that, we'll come to that FQ in a bit, but that's a big thing for the Lumifel mods because it also means the cycles don't hurt quite as much. Um, so there is a big, quite a big nerf, and that's on the Hishian Twin Stones, at the end of the spell. Um, so basically what it used to do was, it, uh, for various reasons, it was an end of the spell that gave basically plus two to cast, just continuously. Uh, and you could get more pluses to cast if you got more spells off. Uh, anyway, um, now um, after, it's, after you use it to give a plus to cast, um, it's immediately dispelled. Which, um, with rules of it not being able to be recast after it's been um, dispelled that turn, means it's now just a once per turn plus to cast. So lists won't be taking that anymore. Where before it was a bit of an auto include. Okay, um, so that's cool because it was a very very silly end of spell. It, yeah, no, I mean that's good because it, it did seem a bit. It, it just seemed like it always took the mech. Yeah, it? yeah. Agreed. Okay. It added, it added another level of complexity to an already complex army that was annoying to play against. <laughs> yeah, it just like as a well, I imagine a Lumina player, you know, you you've got almost like a, a challenge just remembering everything you're meant to do, haven't you? So yeah, uh, so no, I like that. Um, and then we've got uh, Ronnie saying, "Law seeker unique." Um, or not. I can see it says it is unique. Yeah, except the GHP says it isn't, so it depends on what you believe. Oh. Good job, GW. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, the GHP is out tomorrow, though, isn't it? Yeah. So, so the GHB is the I, basically, I think the GHP is just a misprint. I think they will FAQ it to be unique. It was just a misprint. Um, yeah, I, I think it's also a misprint on the GHP because the GHP has said the uh, Silesk is a Bamoff. Yeah. And it's really not. It's tiny. Um, also another thing, um, so there was a really weird thing with the ballistas where basically due to the NAR hole FAQ, you could only give, if you're like, so there's a thing basically where you can give yourself plus one to hit against a particular unit. Um, and, uh, it used to be the case that with the NAR hole FAQ, you could only give one ballista the plus one to hit per turn. Uh, even if you had like three ballistas on the battlefield, they've now changed the wording so they just get plus one to hit against that visible uh, unit um, or that enemy unit. So that's a buff for the ballistas, which is good because you're always taking sentinels as it was. Got it. Okay. So, so there's a bit of change there as well, which is welcome, really, isn't it? Um, and then the endless spells are we any change here yeah, well yeah we had the twin stones um which changed quite a lot uh runa petrification yeah runa petrification stayed the same uh i think the sanctum has stayed the same um and the shrine stayed the same other than the fact it's now defensible cool and, and like you said, there, there are other changes here, but they're mainly like inherent to just what third edition is bringing. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that, that's fair enough. Um, I'll just catch up with the chat a bit. Um, we've got... Uh, where are we? So just going back to IDK, uh, racist then, that sounds like IDK is still tier S. I'd probably say it's still one of the top armies. Um, yeah. Seem to still be doing all right, and then on IDK, Guel was saying IDK is like BT, it literally uh, like them, so it has a great adversary thrown at it, but always manages to adapt and survive. Respect, but seriously, it needs an update. Yeah, they'll I lived in Kim, will get a book within a year. Right? Yeah, I think you can like, like, I played, yeah, like I played a lot with them on TTS, and they're my favorite model range, and I actually decided not to collect them because they are like they're too good if that makes sense it was just like if i wanted just to have like a chilled game i couldn't they just so yeah uh they definitely and, uh, need to... yeah but then you're just like well i'm just nerfing myself for the sake of trying to be a 
you know, it's like, and they're not the models I'm interested. I like the eels, you know, the, yeah. the fishies. Um, no, no, like the, and the, the crabs. The Grecian crab. thing like appeals to me for IDK as well. Yeah. yeah, I remember when I played against uh, a, a few times, Alex. But I remember like the day before we had, uh, oh, what was those tournaments run by? Uh, Hammer oh, Grand Hammer. And I remember I deployed Mark Hale and stuff. I don't think I was feeling that great anyway that evening. But I was just like, I deployed. I was like, I don't do any more wounds. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just, I just, yeah, ate it. So, I think cool. we finished in about twenty minutes. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, they're, they're still good. Um, and then uh, Takis don't so much. Shagos, Shagos exists. Last time I saw um, one on the table was ninety eight. Well, it turns out, and Ben's house, you're not allowed there's to have dinner unless there's one on a table. So, like, literally, there's, there's, always, there's always two. I mean, like, there's just... the cupfries made out of them. Oh my god! Yeah, they're everywhere. So, no, but, yeah. like. In, in the new in AOS three, they're actually not too bad. So they can get a two plus save and a five up ward save, means they're one of the they are probably the most survivable thing in the Beast Chaos book. Yeah, Which, you know, yeah, yeah two or five, like up save, five up ward, it's all right. And then like now, a lot of books can put, take them in, so that's all sorted. Mm -hmm. And then you've got um, uh, so. Racing, I think he might have been thinking that they were getting a new book. So they're not they're not getting a new book. Luma for Romans. All right, I might be wrong. They might be getting a new book, but I doubt it. Um, so and then saying that they can get plus five to cast for tetanus and stuff. Maybe some tech there, but we'll talk about another time. So right, on to the next army, which is Maggot King of Nurgle. Right. So if everyone who's been asking me to do videos making a Nurgle, despite putting over 10 hours into them before. Um, now is your chance to ask me questions on them, and you will have a very brief window, because make you a Nurgle... Um, Not for much, no many changes. No, they yeah. lost their battalion, didn't they? They all love, but that's yeah. more to do with third edition than... I see, uh, nothing, yeah. I see nothing here that changes anything. Yeah. Uh, they changed the wording on the tree, like... Uh, you now have to be within seven inches in the charge phase. Was that the always the charge. case? No, it was just when you're in, in within seven inches. Which that well, uh, that's pretty much that is pretty much the same thing though. Oh, okay, yeah, it just it just cleaned the wording up. There's no ambiguity, I guess. Yeah, but it is like rules. rules yeah, yeah. Up, the so how it was always laid. Yeah. But not, like I know, like we say, like well, it doesn't sound like much of a change and stuff. It's like this, like th there's people you'll run into where if it's not tidy up enough, then there's room for an argument. No, 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 definitely, definitely. Like, they can just change the uh, the locus on the demons. So it's an add one to save rolls more than seven should the noble demon hero. Because I believe it used to be reroll rerolls. So the, the, they have cleared up the rerolls on saves there as well. Yeah. Okay. That that's good. There. And that's that's it. We're good. Obviously, if there's anything that we've oh, no, that's not about. If there's anything that we've missed, uh, let us know in, in the comments. Again, like I'm not trying to like rush your army if this is the one you've been waiting for, but there's there's so many FAQs to go through, uh, mm. <laughs> and it is going to be an all nighter. Um, just, but I'm just going to. One. One thing, maybe still. Uh, with the did they change every anything about the interaction with the weathering stave and like on hit effects? No, nothing. Or is it? Oh, okay, so that's still fucked. Okay. <laughs> uh, unless it's in the core rules, but like as I understand yeah. it, certainly Archaeon's ability um, over it happens before the triggered effects ability. Hmm. Um, so I think it's fine. Archaeum still makes three or sixes, even if you do like sixes. Maybe even if you do more wins than sixes to hit, I think. Yeah, yeah. So like the yeah. so you you roll your dice, the reroll say from Archeon happens, and then the whatever it lands on it, we where it lands on. But yeah. if say for the Archeon one, if you're if you can just re-roll your hit rolls and then you roll a six, you can't re-roll that re-roll. No. Yeah, that's, that's all we can have. Yeah. 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 But, you know, you always get one re-roll. If, if it's negative or a positive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we've got Taka saying, can you spam the um, Nurgle trees? So, I mean, you can grow them, can't you? 
Yeah, you oh, sort of, yeah, sort of, yeah, sort of le- less less than you could before because you had. Oh, I can't remember. Was it Minificent? No, not Minificent. There was a battalion which basically yeah, lost a battalion, tree every yeah. turn, which uh, was just great. Just horticulous running around planting trees it was awesome. Yeah. You can't do that now. Um, again, Mad King and Nurgle is the oldest Age of Sigma battle tome that is in current circulation. So, you know, if, you, if you're doing it by the older, should get a new book first. Mad King and Nurgle should be getting one too. And it's but still doing all right, though. Is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not. It's not a bad book. That's good then. Um, so it wasn't in need as much as a repair as the but yeah. the dash one. Was. The good thing it has going for it though is it's got it's got a lot of command abilities that happen in the hero phase, and it's got quite a lot of command abilities that are also auras, which a lot of the newer books don't have. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, it's like, I imagine, I, not imagine, I remember the Legion of the Gash one was like that as well. And uh, Guay was saying um, it came out in first edition, it did, mate. So you've still got, um, you've got Mike and Nurgle. I'm just trying to think of one time an update. Mike and Nurgle, um, I don't know if Deepkin. They're the two oh, obvious two. They're the two remaining ones now, aren't they? Yeah. In first edition, yeah. Um, it's a good point, Nurgle. Um, he's saying that. Uh, nothing making FAQ will seriously affect them beyond just generic for edition changes. Yeah, I think that's the conclusion we can come to. And then 40k is saying that play bearers are better, uh, minus one, uh, presumably to hit at 10 models. I imagine that is, yeah, mm, they already had that. Yeah, so that, that, that's the same. Yeah, it's still minus one. But I mean, you've got so I think they got rid of the minus two on having 20 models or something. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So with that, we're going to go on to uh, Nighthorn. Oh, well, this is your specialty. So my specialty. Uh, I'll be honest. I never took any of the end of spells. So if they have changed, that's good uh, because these end of spells are, were were not fantastic. Um, a quick look through this bit. Um, so the big one, Black Coach, is now a totem. Okay. Oh, isn't it? Oh, baby. Yeah. Um, so that's great for um, command abilities, obviously. And yeah, the huge base. Yeah, the Kurdos Valentine stealing CP thing has been cleaned up a bit, so it's all to do with when you get the CP for the general being on, on the field. Um, but uh, it's quite nice because it, you now roll the five up twice a turn, well, twice a battle round, because it's every time it's at the start of the hero phase if your opponent receives a cp for their general being on the battlefield on a five up um they lose one you gain one yeah and it's nice. so it, you're only getting it for the general but yes yeah, so it's when they do the, the role for the general but like, you generally you're trying to keep the general alive but you, it's got better definitely because it's twice per battle round now whereas before it was just once wasn't it it was so, just in the enemy hero phase yeah yeah, so and if, if you're rolling for every time your opponent receives a command point, that sounds a bit silly. So, yeah, that seems good. Uh, yeah, there's not really much change. Um, I mean, the I mean, it's, now... it's worth talking. I think so. A mate of mine's pretty hot on the Mortalis uh, Terminexus now because basically okay. uh, oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it hasn't changed much, but um, it heals D3 wounds allocated to each unit within six inches of it. So like that's really big. that's like emerald life form on steroids. Nice. Can it be models worth of D three? Uh, no, it's, it's just healing. Uh, but with things like um, what is it, spirit hosts? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I, um, it, yeah. it's it's good, but it only affects very few units in the army. Like it's yeah, good for your heroes. That was emerald life form though. We're... Yeah. yeah, exactly. Use both. That's amazing. Really nice. Um, just like to make them really tanky. Um, because they also have like other ways of healing. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I think the Shaiish Reaper looks pretty interesting. Um, I mean, it looks awesome. It's just yeah. Always. It's like all the endless spells. They all look great. Like, like you can't fault GW for like how they look. All the models look great. Yeah, yeah, they. I mean, this is quite like Halloween, this one, but the other one, completely agree. Um, so, 
Why do we like this one then? After this, interspersed me for all two dice for each unit that has any models it passed across, including models and in, it passed across when it pivoted, and for each unit within one inch of at the end of and um, for each roll that is equal to or greater than that unit's save characteristic, uh, that unit suffers D3. So kind of like on a four up. But it's two four ups. So like, yeah, if you roll two four ups and then taking two D3, I think. Yeah. That, that's pretty good then. And like you're and like you're in control of it. So it's like Yeah. I think it's, it, like, it's, it's each unit it's moved across, so it's eight inch range. Yeah. It's got an eight inch range. Oh. You, can, you can get like say three or four units quite easily with that, especially with the smaller board size. Yeah, so, and then you and then you've got the Terminexus um nearby keeping that hero alive with healing. Right. I don't know. I don't know how many points it is, but it seems kind of good. Yeah. So, I'll tell you in a minute. So. Cool. And with that, I'll just catch up with the chat a bit. Um, Cultus176 uh, is saying, Asian Cash, this is GW we're talking about. Oldest ones do not mean at first book um, if 40k is anything to go with. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it is, mate. Yeah. I'm just uh, trying to give some hope and trying to make some reasoning out of all of this. But then we've got uh, Raceland saying that rumours are Mad King and Evil, Gits, Ogres, and Beast of Chaos are the first four tomes of Stormcast and Yeah, well, with, with that, with that rumour, then, the, there is the rumour of the Beast of Chaos and Gits box, which is the Beast of Chaos with the new Doom Ball and Jabba Slive, and the Gits being all the new Spider Fang stuff, which it'll be horrible for me because I want to do a Spider Fang army. So, yeah. Yeah. But, so on the Reaper, it's gone up 50 points. So it went from 20 to 70. Still mm. worth it, I think. Oh, I mean, yeah. Even... What it does now, it's, it's, yeah. it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Um... I'm not 100% how good the casters are for Nighthorn. So if you've got, got some quite... Uh... Right, right Knorr gets plus three to yeah, cast if he yeah, snaps he... out his candle. I think he, he gets... Fair, fair, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think he. Yeah so, yeah, so having that move every hero phase, that's that's devastating. Yeah, yeah. It's I think it's good. Good. yeah, because four dice a battle round, then isn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Right. Yeah, so like, I, I think like because the, the beast curse ones are really good, but we just don't have any pluses to cast on anything, so we yeah. can't reliably get anything off. But like when you see bits like this. If the casters can get them, they're brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Right, okay, move on to the next one. Uh, so Nighthorn have got better from their FAQ, so that's good. Uh, they could do with some help. So going on to the next one is going to be the Ogre Moor Tribes. Well, we need to loop for this one, so... Um, I mean, I've, I've had a look through, and as far as I can see, it's just clearing up the prayer wording and all that usual stuff so just i like, see no, i see literally nothing here just that I'm talking about. And, 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 and clarifying on the more pot as well so yeah with it being no, impossible and stuff so it's, yeah. Uh, yeah uh but yeah other than that i don't think there's any, i think we can just move on awesome um uh, it says man it's like something's getting the elite yeah manny just became elite nobody ran manny is anyway but they will yeah, now so. Right, so oh, um, money is have have models that are almost uh, years ago. Also, I can save you opening the War Clans one. Um, literally, the only thing worth noting is that uh, war, every War Chanter can take a beat rather than it being an enhancement where only one could have. Um, but other than that, again, it's just it's just clearing up wording on battalions and spell laws and mount traits. But yeah, that's it. Awesome, for that. That was quick. Um, so uh, we've got that. I'm just going to quickly read out um, Tucker's uh, comment. So um, LO, so is still just Mer. The entire army is just odd and only okay. Which one's LO? Was that Lady me? Olinda? Lady Olinda, uh, potentially. Yes. Uh, let us know, Tucker, which one that is uh, for. Um, okay. And then the next one is Ossiarch Bone Reapers. So um, with this one, we didn't get... So, okay, I haven't read for it, but from what I've heard, from what everyone's told me, 
is um they didn't clear up the relentless discipline point situation where if you can use you know generic battalions where they give you that extra or out defense or that um or out attack um the obr can't use it is that correct yeah so they don't get they don't gain access to the Sad. new command abilities uh and they can't use their own command abilities more than once per turn where i was obviously used to spam it so i think you will be i think like a big block of 30 with like a couple of units of 10 more tech and then some big heroes supporting is going to be the way to go but i don't necessarily think that's a bad thing so um, I've, not, I've not read the obr one so can with the relentless discipline, can you be affected by more than one in a phase, or is it the same as command abilities? So, like, so yeah, because they're still command abilities, they just don't use command points. Um, so, yeah. Um, and they haven't changed it. They haven't fixed it to say, oh, they can use them multiple times. Yeah. Uh, there is something quite big, though, which I actually like. Um, so, you know, Nagash used to be able to do Arcane Bolt and Mystic Shield as many times as you wanted. Yep. He can now only do Arcane Bolt. He can't do Mystic Shield multiple times. So that's the real save, isn't it? Well, plus one to save, yeah. Which would have, been, would have been silly because he could have just given the whole army plus one to save and it's like, yeah, it becomes pretty unkillable at that. He can still be, you know, carrying 8d3 mortal wounds or whatever and just go blow himself up. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they didn't really sort out their own system thing they didn't say they can spam the command abilities which obr kind of intended for mm -hmm. um, like to the point when i look at anything in an obr army and i just plus three inches to its move yeah. that's how, how i used to look at them um yeah well sad uh, so yeah a mate so a mate of mine uh basically the list that he's come up with is arkan Two times thirty more tech, five riders, one harvester, one catapult, and a, a soul mason and cogs. Um, and that sounds like very, very. You know, you have that in uh, Petrifix Elite, so they're going to be four up, re-rolling, ignore rend one. Um, so very, very defensive. You know, we, we talked about armies now just need to be able to sit on two objectives. That does that very, very well. Uh, Arkans there being annoying. Got a harvest. Yeah, I think maybe they're not as good as they were. Um, maybe you're not getting to play with some of the toys that other armies are getting to play with in the new edition, which feels bad. But just saying that OBR are ruined, I don't think that's true. Like, you've just got to, you've got to look elsewhere. But they also do play with the Baltric phase, which the other armies do. So yeah. that's probably, that is probably their big, like, uh, trade off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'll, I'll be honest. So I'm, I'm looking at this very negatively. Um, I'm not happy with it at all. Uh, I'll met maybe, like you say, give it some time, play around with it. Maybe there's a few things, but it's. I think I feel like personally for myself, as an OBR player, this is clearly just a taking things away and they're not giving anything in return, and then it just kind of it feels feels a bit shit. But I realise that we're not the worst army in the game so i'll be careful about my my sort of thoughts on it but i can see where there's a lot of anger and stuff coming from on this um no, and even yeah. if you, yeah. even try and rebuild you know your army to make it work it's still not going to be as good as it was and actually you've got you've got things like you've got the bone tithe shrieker so you can get plus one to hit that way rather than using the command abilities um yeah i mean not getting rally probably hurts idk um yeah and, and yeah not I think, the army's a lot slower as well yeah and that redeploy would have been nice. and that's the thing i think as an obr player i'd be more annoyed about not being able to play with the cool new toys that come with third edition yeah that's think, what I that's what i'd be upset with it's like the battalions are not yeah well there are some of them are but you know i think redeploy might be the the one that bothered me the most rather than rally yeah i agree because like redeploy just like seems to scream OBR to me because that's all about it. It's so mm -hmm. tactical. It is the tactical army. It's a tactical army in law. It's about mm -hmm. doing. It's essentially you army playing chess. Yeah, and that's 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 the OBR thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. having redeploy just that would bother me. I, I just kind of feel like, like I said, 
things taken away from them. They didn't get anything in return. And then what kind of made them, I mean, I get it. They're the only army that doesn't have to take Battleship, basically. But the thing that made them unique, kind of every other army's got now. Um, yeah. and, and more to play with. So, yeah. Well, that, that's on the, on the upside, Riveting Diaphold doesn't affect you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, so the right. last time I did play against Beast of Chaos about four years ago, well, that would solve that problem, wouldn't it? Exactly. Um, so Perfect. Am, so you've heard my thoughts on it. I am now going to inevitably read through the chat now, where I imagine people are not happy. So let's see what people have to say about OBR in the new edition. Um, but just quickly, um, Taka was saying Nighthorn, um, just the entire army, just odd and only okay. Yeah, they've been only okay for a long time, and they're going to stay like that. Um, and then Obisant, apologies if I got your name wrong again. But anyway, so OBR, one drop, Petra Elite, Arcan, Liege, Soul Mason, uh, 220 Mortec, uh, 25 Death Riders, Crawlers, and Shrieker. Um, yeah, potentially. I mean, I think personally, I think you want a Harvester. They're a monster. They're very, very good. But yeah, like there's ways to still make them competitive. As I said, it's like, just. Isn't, isn't it have to be one drop now? Like anything like, say, three or four drop is pretty competitive. Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel for me, for me, I used to like my one of my big things was have mi lots of min sized units of like cavalry and run them around and just be mm -hmm. you know spamming the the plus three to move and then suddenly before you know if you're static lords you're you're moving fifteen inches and then you're running which was an average three plus one from your banner is a four so you're moving like um, nineteen inches before you charge. Mm. So, so, a question because I've not read the like I've not read the OBR FAQ. So, say you take the Warlord Battalion, do you get an extra discipline point as well as an extra artifact, which is just the artifact? No, but no, it will just be the artifact. What well, enhancement? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, the enhancement. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that 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 irks me a bit. So, do you know? Sorry. In case I missed it, do you not get the relentless discipline point if you did take one of those bat core battalions? I don't think so because it's not a command point; it's a relentless discipline point. Yeah, that. Yeah. I, 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 I've not read the FAQ. I thought that might be FAQ then, but that seems really weird to me because it should be because it, because it's not every turn; it's just a plus one at a turn of your choosing. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not game breaking at all, especially yeah. for your OBR. So essentially, you're saying. OBR might as well just take the the three hero uh, battalion rather than the warlord battalion because yeah. there's no there's no actual reason to take the extra troop in there for sure which yeah. which seems crap it just doesn't seem right yeah and as OBR I'm, I'm not gonna lie they weren't the weakest army at all they were pretty strong um, but they weren't you know right at the top unless you yeah Nagash cat across maybe could do some stuff but so I, I, I don't know why they, oh it's almost like they just haven't thought about them well and the then, thing is like with OBR I've, I've never uh, the, the times I've played them I've played them like eight or nine times in like not in TTS and every time I play them they're being fun to play against yeah and that, I think that's, that's that's important and they're think, not them not being able to play the same game that everyone else is, even though they don't have the battle shock, is you know, you know, I don't have the greatest armies ever with Beast Scales and Head Knights, but you know, them not being able to play like a similar game to me is just it kind of irks me. I, yeah. I, like, I, like, I like the even playing field, yeah, exactly. Well, one of Games Workshop's finest decisions here, and then, um, yeah, people, then people just saying, uh. So no help for um, FAQ for OBR. No, they got worse. Uh, it basically just, what I was thinking of OBR going, all right, guys, let's just wait until we see the FAQ where they clear things up. They're basically just the um, optimism I gave them. Uh, they kicked it away because it turns out our worst thoughts were true. Um, and then... Uh, well, okay. Okay. So, 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 sorry. The, um, you, do, you do actually with the Royal Battalion, um, because, yeah, I've just seen here, um, if you use the Expert, Slayers, Strategist, or Swift Battalions, instead, uh, for each battalion in your army, rather than using those abilities, you gain one uh, Relentless Discipline point. Okay, that, that is good. That's then. good, then. That's really good. Yeah. That's good. So, so you okay, so you can see why you try and maybe take two of them? Like, yeah, no, uh, you, you can see it, because you, well, you can even do three, because if you get... 
Is it related to some point for whatever one you take? Because yeah. Yeah. The, you can easily go for three Vanguard with not an issue. The but... other the other problem now though is it's what are you going to spend your red assessment points on? Yeah. Because actually thinking about it, the whole it's not, yeah. going, like it's annoying that I can't get a red assessment point from Italians. Actually, I was wrong to think that because now I'm like I just don't have enough things. Yeah, because you can't, no, no, because you can't spam them. No, but the, the other thing is, though, you don't have to choose them. So you get them once per battalion, but you can have them, say, going, say, turn three or four when you've lost a couple of your heroes, so you can't generate as many... They, they get wiped out at the end of a better round. I know, but say that, say, turn three or four when you can't generate as many as you normally do because you've say, lost heroes, you've lost some... Um... Or it saves you from casting whatever the spell was, which gave you oh, more RDP. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so okay, you know, I, I see where you're coming from, yeah. I... Yeah, so, so you've got you got the choice of going, oh, it's turn four, you've killed three of my heroes. Fuck it. You know, I'm, I'm burning all of my battalion ones here now. I've got an extra three. Yeah. I... Yeah. Yeah. I can I can see where you come from. I think I, I want to move on from OBR as it's yeah, uh, sure, go for it. um just gonna I'm just quickly just gonna read through what everyone else has said. Um they were a disciplined undead Roman Legion. Yep, now they're just dead. Um but th this play, you know, give give it time, but they're not gonna be as good as they were. Um and they did not take things away, they give you special things, uh you special things to everyone. Uh and they did take away from OBR. Um and then Obstant is saying we also don't get a minus one for holding on to one of the under spells anymore. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Um, that's nice. And you get to cash in the battalion for the end of once per game. Uh, yeah, we just said that. So, yeah. Once per... Yeah, yeah, yeah so we just said that, yeah. like, so we're like, probably the high end. But it's better round, isn't it? In this um, game, it's, once, it's at the start of one battle round. Oh, yeah, okay. Once per game. Yeah. Right. I get you. So it's different how it used to be with the old patterns. Um, it says the dumbest thing is the hero tax. I don't want to run, nor can I afford. I ever take four heroes. Can't do multiple battalions. Which, I mean, the heroes are expensive. Um, right. Okay. I want to stop talking about OBR. There we go. That was the OBR FAQ. Um, Seraphon, no finger off point. Burn it all. <laughs> yep. um, uh, yeah, there's, there's actually quite a few bits in it. Is there? I mean, uh, right, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm incredibly salty, whiny, bitchy when I go against Seraphon. I won't hide it, and every time my opponent explains things to me, I'm just in my head just saying, fucking hate you. So I don't really pay attention to what's changed. <laughs> I, I've, had, I've had a couple of key games in Serbia uh, against uh, Seraphon. Yeah. Fun times. Uh, sorry, Alex, you, you were going to do like a summary on what? Uh, yeah, so they've changed how bound endless spells work. So bound endless spells don't exist anymore. Um, but basically, they are bonded to the wizard, as is now standard with endless spells. However, with this now, rather than the spell going wild, when the wizard dies, the spell is removed from play. So like you kind of you know, it's 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 different, but like definitely a good change, I'd say. Yeah, it's, it's, it seems more reliable. So, do they have to pay for that still, or is it just a? Um, I don't know. Um, I I would have to look at the Seraphon points changes to see if they are still a thing, which I can do. Okay, okay, well, then I'll pull it up. Um, uh, yeah, no, they bound. There were no points for bound. End no, spells. so yeah, so it's just some spell points. Yeah, so yeah, that's kind of good for them, but also offsets losing bound end spell. Um, so there's that. Um, also, ch chameleon skinks used to get plus two to their save if they were in cover. They now get a four ward save, which makes them very good. But they can only be in units of ten, so like they aren't quite the problem they could be when they used to be yeah. saved in twenties. Yeah. Oh yeah, even fifteens were an issue. Teams of fifteen were just yeah, inevitable. yeah, no, for sure. Um, anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, the, 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 you know, the, obviously the priest buffs with 
move to the rest of the AOS 3.0, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. that's fine. Um, OBR, just because I went past it, uh, did we know of any of the ender spells changed? Um, they don't have any specific ender spells. Oh, OBR, OBR. sorry, OBR, OBR sorry. Uh, I think I had a quick look, they all look vaguely the same. Cool, that's fine, but you're no longer minus one when you uh, to cast and yeah. you're so linked, which isn't that's a good change. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it felt fine, it felt like balance, but now that everyone can do with their poetry and the spells, it's nice that they aren't yeah. hit from it. Uh, Skaven, bloody hell, imagine this. Uh, I've not, not played a lot of Skaven, or like even against, I think I've got I had one oh, Skaven player that was looking for me like three years ago. So I played a fair bit of Skaven for a couple of months. Um, yeah, I, th I think I, I've been play like Clan Molder because I love giant rats and ratogers, but the ratogers, apart from, the ratogers sculpts that aren't Island of Blood are awful. Um, okay, so Giselles have changed. Their shield used to give them... Um, like plus two to save, to save against shooting, right? Uh, it now gives them plus one yeah. to save against shooting, and if they haven't moved, they get to reroll hits, which is good. That's really good for Giselles, because before they were relying on, um, what was it, more and more war power? Did they not get that before? They got something. I don't know. They might well, maybe, they got, maybe they got reroll hits, I don't know. But the... Um... Um, Okay, so they're not as good against enemy. So I think they have a they get plus one to save against enemy shooting. So they have a five up save, I think. Yeah, I think it's four up shooting. Cool. So they, uh, they can be shot off pretty, pretty good. Yeah, um, I think they've got, they, what lot does that change? Yeah, that hasn't changed. Yeah, so actually that's a nerf for Giselles. Yeah, because it used to be plus two, now it's plus one. Okay, I ignore but, everything I just but said. But then it says, but change their save to a five plus. So uh, it's it's got better. Okay, yes, yeah, so they've got plus one. Yeah, so actually it is better because they're better against combat. Because yeah. I think I, I had a game against you, Alex, and I think you tied my Giselles, or I say that I piled my Giselles into combat against your Chaos Warriors, but because like they're elite sniping unit, but obviously as six mm -hmm. in combat, they would just yeah. The, so that, yeah. the Vermin of Warps here used to reroll saves. He's now got plus one to save, as you would imagine. But yeah, other than that, not actually very much has changed for them. The endless spells all look the same um, to me. Yeah, and I vaguely knew what they did. And I think that Naho's. Yeah, yeah. No, Naho's. I think now. Um, oh, okay. So, one thing, I don't know if it did it before, but did the Naho's give plus one to prayer rolls for priests? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I knew it gave plus one for that. I yeah. think it was. It might have been FAQ'd in later and not on the wall. Okay. Uh, but yeah, in that case, the Skaven one's actually not very big. Yeah, we can move on, I think. What about? I just want to quickly say, like everyone's saying, yes, yes, rats, rats, which I do hugely appreciate. Rats are. Oh, the yeah. irony. Sorry. Um, plague monks. The war scroll is no longer used and then has been replaced by the war scroll and the Warhammer Age of Sigma, the app, until the app goes away. <laughs> until you have to pay for the app and then you can't use plague monks. Oh, that's a shame, yeah. isn't it? Sometimes. Jesus Christ. Warhammer Plus. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to do oh, it. Oh, okay. So yeah. strength in numbers used to be plus two onto their bravery. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now, um, so you subtract one from the battle shot roll for every 10 models in the unit. So that's changed. Uh, so it doesn't give that's pluses worse. to brave. Yeah, it doesn't give pluses to bravery. It reduces the rolls. So that's worse. Yeah, because it's also what directly half worse isn't it because if you got plus two for every 10 mm -hmm. you're only minus and one for every 10 now uh yeah. the, the roll. So that, that's uh, that's not nice um cool well that's gaven and then we've got taka saying uh warpstone tempest which i think is the warp blinding vortex am i wrong um and shackles for the win the shackles are so good so could you like trap someone in in the shackle, no, because they can move out, can't they? It doesn't stop you moving, it stops you charging. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a way to, to bug your opponent. Yeah, shackles are one of the best ender spells. Um, I think everyone is literally has got them 
on their side to their pain desk now, haven't they? Just to paint them up for whatever army you play. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Okay, so going on to um, the next one, which STD. is X S T D, which um, obviously stands for Slaves of Darkness. Obviously. Um, so Slaves of Darkness. Um, God, there's so much here. It's um, uh, Archaeon's a war master, so it always counts as your general. Cool. Uh, Oracular Visions is now a plus one to save, not re roll saves. Um, the prayers all look the same to me. Um, the orders are all the same. I think it's just endless spells that might we might need to talk about. Yeah, um, by Demaris has changed, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, Dark Fire Demon Rift. It's basically to it stayed the same, other than it now doesn't get plus one for the mortal wounds from wizards, only from endless spells within twelve inches. So you know, if your if your opponent has a couple of brain cells to put together, they just won't put out their endless spells. So you're looking at a maximum of D three plus two. Rather than like a maximum of like D three plus eight, which you could get at Maybe points, not, it? Yeah. yeah, which would have been it's, it's a good change because it would be stupid otherwise. Mm -hmm. Like this, that like obviously, Alex, you've got a lot of experience with running the Dark Fire Demon Rift, haven't you? Like it, it was quite bonkers. It it, it won me men plenty of games. Yeah, like I, I had a game against Ideneth where I somehow pulled it out and. It, the, the demon rift at what 70 points did more damage than the whole rest of my army uh yeah yeah it was it was silly um so yeah i mean i don't know if you can see it anymore maybe i can make it work in cabalis as like an anti-alpha strike thing by like putting up cogs and um what is it cogs and Spell portal for like D three plus two against my opponent, but it's no longer that scary D three plus five or six. It's some points, isn't it? As well, it, yeah, it's a hundred points now. So I don't think it will see anywhere near. Ram scored rapture though. I really like. Yeah, I love it. It hasn't changed. No. I don't think so. No, um, I, I love this spell. Uh, did it go up to like eighty or something? Yeah, it got a small points increase, but like, yeah, it's awesome. It's Corn, yeah. If you like, so um, uh, where are you, Craig? Um, because I think you're still watching this. So, we we're talking about, I don't know, specifically for RK on that bill, but probably work in there. Take a corn, um, demon prince, take this as well, make the enemy half their charge, and uh, and is it run rolls as well, or just charging for the corn? Uh, it is, yeah, ha. Run, 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 charge, charge. Yeah. 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 Well, what you do mate this is what i did you take that make them half the running charges you take this thing as well and if you get it off then the move cash is half and then you take shackle yeah, yeah. and then uh, you say to your opponent, i'm going to shoot you with all my javelins from my marauder <laughs> horseman while you sit there and take it yeah. like the little girl you are so that is that's how you <laughs> win with <laughs> is that the javelin matter is that it? the javelin i mean they've got rent to be fair they're going to need it in the new edition those javelins but um so, uh, so there we go i'm just going to read through some of the things we've got in the chat um for uh to catch up too much um so uh craig was watching because says hooray cool cool um ls was saying did you get to the first prince there no we'll get to that in not too long um attack is saying been fun great content thanks for all the work and reviews guys good night no worries Taka, and thank you for uh, very much for being so engaged in the chat and stuff it was good to hear your thoughts and glad you watched it and i hope you have a good night um and then um andreas saying that still keen on cabal list and what would a sample list look like asking for a friend so no longer so much on the dark fire demon rift um it's a little um, bit tricky actually isn't that because the sorcerers yeah, so the list That's the good. list I've been yes, the list I've been running uh was Chaos Sorcerer Lord on Manticore, two foot sorcerer lords, blue scribes, a corn demon prince, two twenties of marauders, two fives of knights, uh, a war shrine, a unit of untamed beasts, cogs and spell portal. And that was very good. 
but with the changes to oracular visions, it's not as good. Um, I also think I might make room for the round scored rapture now. But no, Kavast is a very solid way to play slaves, especially with cogs being what it is, um, yeah, and being able to take the enhancement for knowing an extra spell. You're then, yeah, just casting out loads of spells. Are you are the slaves starting a spell law? I'm st still fantastic spell law. Also, right? generic spell, flying marauders. It's fun. I need I need <laughs> to come down spells. on what those core rule spells are because I, I can't even remember that. So what you've got a flying flying unit of marauders charging thirteen inches off the teleport, fully yeah. buffed. Just fly over their screens, hit the heroes behind. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go then. So, and if you want that, you know, Kavalis is a good shout or way to do it. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. Uh, and don't forget, guys, Slaves of Darkness, like me and yourself, Alex, we reviewed them and um in the points changes. And Slaves of Darkness is kind of, I mean, without remembering everything, I'm gonna say it's the army that came out the strongest in the terms of some things went down in points. <laughs> so I, I think one, one of the big things I based that off of was the reroll saves ability. Mm -hmm. Losing that really hurts. You know, like having those chaos knights on a three up reroll and save, ignoring rend one or two was just crazy. Um, so where does it say here? Does it say that Ocular Vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaos Warriors rerolling saves is Yeah, that's just plus one save as well now. And the uh, Zeech one, what does that do instead? Add one to save. Okay. Yeah, it's it's weird because to me, when I hear like add one to save, oh, that's really good. But obviously, you can't stack it. And there's so many things that give you that add one, isn't there? Yeah. What do Chaos, top of your head, what do Chaos Warriors do now that they can't reroll their saves? Plus one to save. I mean, you can only use, I mean, we say plus one to save, you know, there's so much really, you can't stack it really without the rend conversation coming in. Um, but you can only use it once per combat phase anyway, you know, all out yeah. defense. So yeah, it's not it's as easy. expandable as... Yeah, yeah. It's still good, but it's not as good. Yeah. Um, cool. And then I'll just read for the chat in case there's anything else. Um, uh, so we've got Edda saying, I was building the army with Bellicor. Yeah, that's cool. We'll get to the first legion. Bellicor is like, that model is beautiful. Um, Race is saying, say so I need another short um form what do you mean most short form as in abbreviation oh, okay um uh, what what you do mate if you want to s2d s2d exactly and then that solves that one unless if you're you know sinesh safe diamonds player like myself you specifically put the t in um and then uh kairos and the verma lord corruptor and it got um a vq cool um off to game, so Tack is saying bye, guys. Yep, yeah, bye, mate. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, which corn units with Archaon and friends? Corn Demon Prince straight away it uses command ability to just make um, everyone half the run of charges. And something that me and you mentioned before, Alex, as well, was that I used to run a lot of Vanguard and Archaon being corn. You get that reroll once to hit and then that plus one to wound. Now, where you can, like, you can make corn really good uh marked in slaves darkness so i'd i'd look at making corn mate on that one um and then we got slaves darkness to be playable after broken realms uh but yeah they're always playable yeah, but yeah, yeah. Darkness are always yeah cavalry yeah. are amazing yeah, yeah. like no, no, nothing wrong with them um don't get me wrong if you're if you're if you're there and you go why is my exalted hero never working out for me you know your list of six of them then probably change up the exalted heroes but otherwise uh they're pretty good or the um ogroid and all this well, I mean, maybe. I thought, I, I do, the ogroid is probably yeah. one of the best think, models that's being 2.0 oh, the um i'll tell you what the um sure ranks is good with the minus two to bravery I, so so with the change to wildfire taurus now the sphere ranks are pretty much going to be not including my beast lists mm. yeah. it's just yeah. so good it's just so good it is. Um, and then I will, as it, as, yeah, so as you say, I will reply to Elias about Bellacore taking flaming weapons. I think the answer is no. Uh, um, basically, all the spell no. laws now, so like in the core rules, it says that unique characters can't take enhancements. Um, Does it? Yes. Yeah, so in, in the core book, it's it, so. Right, so, so to, hear, to hear out my logic on this. 
So it says that unique characters can't take enhancements. Yep. It then says for all the FAQs that um, unique characters can take this spell law. Like it says it specifically in the FAQ. Yeah, it's yep. right. one, isn't it? So for every single one they've put that effort in, it doesn't say that for the generic um, sp uh, spells. Right. So if, if I, because it says in the FAQ, it's like uniques can't take this unless it says otherwise. Everywhere else it says otherwise, other than the unique spells. Yeah, but I thought in the... I'm just finding it now. The uh, footnotes for the spell enhancement, it says all wizards, not just... It didn't specify, it just says all wizards. I mean, like the, I, I think this clears it. I think like the fact that it says, yeah, you, like, unique characters can't take enhancements unless it's otherwise. They've gone out of their way to say that every, literally every spell law in the game now has a little bracket saying unique characters can take the spell law, and that doesn't exist for the generic spells. To me, that like answers the question, and I think that's the way that TOs will come down on it. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I think that you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. Of the, there's so much, you know, so much new stuff, and it's just you also got to just let things settle in a bit, haven't we? Yeah. Um, that's a, it's a problem when the rules are so like in parts available to you so long before the thing is released. Um, and then Aurora saying, so the aura of um, not Andura, yeah. saying, but the aura of Zeech hot it's now, good. uh, with the version's nerf, uh, do we it's reroll, sa it's reroll saves of one that hasn't been FAQ, so you can have knights three up save, rerolling saves of one. So, yeah, it's good, but all rounds each marked anyway. So, I'm onto a winner with Kabbalah. Yeah, yeah uh, no, all, all gonna say, really though, do you think that's something they've missed and they're going to go back and they're just going to go? No. I mean, yeah, at this stage, I don't believe so. Um, yeah, I, it's worth noting that Zinch still has Shield of Fate for reroll saves on that spell. So there are a few things they've missed. Maybe it's a mistake and it will get sorted out, but we're not likely to get another FAQ anytime soon on it. We'll see. Yeah. And then you got... you... Sorry. Yeah. Go on. Sorry. Um, and then you've got uh, Lafkak saying that Kabul is playable now with the end of spells buff. Yes, they are playable. We just went through that. They were always playable. <laughs> I was wrecking them in 2.0. They were amazing. I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. I'll be honest. Like when I went against Alex's uh, Kabbalists, it was a conversation. Like, oh, I've been thinking about looking into them, but I don't think they're the strongest way to play Slay's Darkness at all. They go against them and just go, "What do you mean?" You've done I, 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 took them to, I, I took them to a team's tournament, went four-one <laughs> with them, beating Ivanet Deakin, Techless, yeah. uh, Double. Terror guys, Gristle Gore, um, and Marathi having a great time. Yeah, right. well, uh, yeah. with the Kabbalists, so anyway, I think they're probably one of the one of the better ones out there. I mean, it's got. I don't think it'll be the. I don't think the Kabbalists are the easiest ones to play no. at all. It's a high, it's it's a high skill. It's not, it's not an easy one. Sure. Go, go to the Avengers and have your guard. It's got it's got your low it's got your low ceiling, but the Kabbalists just seem to basically play them well. They were good in 2.0. What makes them really good now is the combination of cogs and being able to take the enhancement for the second spell law. It just oh, really that's so good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what really makes them really yeah. So yeah, they're really good. And the uh, just so people know, cogs it gives like your wizards plus one to cast. That's why it's good now. Not no, there's, there's one extra cast. Oh, not... one extra. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so they, they all become two fine, cast. No. Yeah, so basically in my my list, I can have all my wizards at plus three to cast. Casting twice with reroll casts because of the blue scribes. I thought I thought it was plus two D. I thought it was plus D three to cast. Yeah, I said I can have them at plus three. Is yeah, plus one to three. But yeah. Yeah, so so average of plus Just two. Just roll more six. Yeah. Like average yeah. plus two to cast. Plus two rerollable. Plus two rerollable. Plus two rerollable. Yeah, especially Lovely. say you know things like two gaunt summoners in there as well. They're, they're an actual two two caster anyway. That's the three cast wizard. It's having two three cast wizards for. 480 points is pretty damn good yeah yeah no. it's awesome yeah no it's it's good but okay. not easy to play no but it's like rewarding. yeah and then we've got uh Hulik saying that demon rift no longer deals more mortal wounds for each wizard within 12 inches only and it's supposed yeah demon rift has got worse so it's gone up in points you probably won't see it that much like we say um and then 
said the Tiger is saying it's coming home. It is coming home, mate. Um, the Euros will be won by us, and that's the extent I know about football. Um, and then Ellis is saying that the army I was building is dead. So remember, that's the Bellacore army. Is that First Legion? Is it I mean, we'll get to the First Legion. It's, it's, not, it's not dead. It's it's dead. The only, yeah, the only thing is you can't take the Vermin Lords anymore. But like, there are so many options. Like, Exalted Chariot being one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Legion like, the First Prince is still very short. Cool. I've never like really reviewed yeah. the Legion the First Prince. So if it's that's some of people really interested in, yeah, yeah, I can I can look into that. I, 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 I read it. Yeah. That's cool. Well, maybe, maybe we'll do that in a future video. Or something. we'll look into ways you can play uh, Legion of the First Prince. So that's what it's called. Um, and then and they say you can play Death. Yep, that's fine. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Um, Baron is here and said. What do you think are the best they start the units for coalitions? Spheranx or yeah, yeah Spheranx every every step Spheranx of the way. Is cool. so, Marauders are always going to be good. Mar yeah, Marauders are good. Uh, I, think, I think Marauders are better when they were in twenties. I, I think I think a war shrine, like because you can, no, you can give it. The only thing mortal, the only thing mortal slips up. Not, not for that. I'm set for the other prayer. You take a generic prayer, it's yeah. a totem. Like, True. Yeah. like, I'm like, they, they do well in combat. Like, give it flaming weapons. That we, no, maybe don't, but yeah. Um, yeah. no, that's a spell, sorry. No, and, but like, give it curse, like, sit it just behind your lines, and then you're getting more wounds out of it. Like, but, but curse only affects all the priests, doesn't it? No, no, curse is the mortal wounds on sixes, right. And then also, I was going to say, like, take a if you're running a corn army, corn doom prints make enemies half their charges and their corn doom prints is so good for anything. I was like, yeah. I, so, so I, I'm tempted with them for my beast of chaos, but the issue yeah, I have yeah. with that is the host owner will drop its armor save by one, which is why I always favor Bellacore of most things. Mm -hmm. But remember, um, like the doom, like, a great thing about doom prints, well, it fights first. Which, which is just a nice handy thing. Yeah. It'd be the chaos where a lot of your stuff's quite squishy. Um, and you go, well, I've charged my ball guards in, and my demon prince, at least I know my ball guards aren't going to get hit before I can hit with them. You know, something like that. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. So, um, da -da -da -da, and then Chase is saying, I like Chaos Lord uh, with Reaper and Demon Steel for Corn. Yeah, he's good. The only thing is, he's only for his command ability. I mean, his attacks are good for what he is, but his command ability is only going to. Help out other slave starters units. So, do Con do do, do Con has Con lost the viral ones or is they have they still got that for the hit? <laughs> no, they'll they still have that. So yeah, no Con Con are really good. No, they're not. They used to be like the, the big issue with Con is they used to be able to spam prayers. So like each priest could do like two or three prayers. Oh no, no, um, no for slave starters rather than birds of Con. Oh, oh yeah, 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 cool, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Blitz yeah. not great. I mean, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, no, corn, corn marked is good. Yeah, like reroll, reroll. You want to hit is amazing, and mm -hmm. you just want to ruin for general, especially now. Archeon is a general as well as as well as another general. That means you've pretty much covered the entire board with plus one to wound. Yeah, yeah, which, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like. Uh, an example, uh, chosen not the fastest thing, yeah, they get shot off the board. But if they do get to fight, uh, core mark you're looking at with the all the buffs and everything, healing on twos, rerolling one, six is doing more tools, wounding on twos, minus one rent. Yeah. So you could do quite nice. Um, yeah, it's it's right, right. It yeah. stuns, but I've gone past that because it says it hasn't been updated. Uh, because Sons of Behemoth has been changed. This is the 23rd of the third, 2020. Um, so the, the thing that I know for sure has changed. Is so uh, you know their long shanks ability for walking over terrain. Yeah. It used so it used to happen um, only in the movement phase. So like charging, it wouldn't work. Whereas now it's just when a move happens, so they can like charge over screens and things like that as if they fly. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, but that's the only thing worth knowing. But that is interesting. Is it really? Is, okay, they just got the date wrong. Because yeah, yeah, because there is actual errata in here. Yeah, I'll be I'll be honest though. We we've, we've been through um, the winner FAQ and they 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 still put up articles with the latest mm -hmm. dates, but nothing changed. So yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Stormcast uh, Eternals. Now they are giving new books. I was going to say like there's some janky stuff in here. I know about 
where they like miss stuff. I think probably is is it worth talking about when we know they're getting a new book soon? <laughs> Can you summarize it? Um, basically, the the, the, trans, the the translocation prayer. As of now, you can move after you've um, been teleported, so you can now teleport six fulminators. In, in front of your opponent, one of four fulminators in front of your opponents, and then move them and then charge. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, like that's just because they've missed it from an F a previous FAQ. Um, but yeah, they're getting a new book soon. Sure, has. Yeah, don't build a list around it just yet. Exactly. Um, cool. That is. But I just want to say I'm quite impressed with all this timekeeping for the bloody there's so many armies well, specifically there's 25 i think um okay so, even done, like the core rules faqs and stuff yeah oh no oh, we'll get there right <laughs> i mean just just looking oh, okay no we're doing we're, we're, we're getting there we're, we're, we've got like six or seven more left to do Silvanet, yeah. can i finally win a game against them they could they be they be hit hard oh why uh <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, Colonel Hunters have obviously oh, lost reroll oh. saves. Okay, sorry, what's that? Colonel Hunters have, re have lost reroll saves. I mean, I was just surprised. I'm fed up with losing against those Colonel Hunters. So, yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. <sighs> obviously, in the new edition, Wildwoods can be destroyed by monsters. Uh, big sound. Yeah. Um, I believe yeah. Wildwood's got nerfed. Um, I wasn't that familiar with their war scrolls in the first place, so I, I couldn't tell you how. Got Fragnos and then nerfed again in this FAQ. Yeah. Um, so we had like four weeks have been amazing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Sylvan. I've only played against them once or twice. I just don't know the one. that? Sorry, I'll stop being mean about <laughs> It's just like they can really done with a helping hand. Yeah. Um, just the silence. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about if if all this is bad for Silver Neff, I don't want to talk about. It. Yeah, like I've heard, all I've heard is like Silver Neff players being sad. So, oh, um, I mean, I... but the tree looks pretty. And that should be what we remember it by. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, we've already been through this one. But no, that's Marathi. So that is Broken Realms and Marathi. If there's been any FAQs from that, that was ages ago. So, like, is that even still relevant? Um, Maybe. Okay, we'll click on it. I mean, oh, like, not really. But okay, there's cool. an interesting thing where uh, in Harkoon, Daughters of Cain priests can do two prayers. They can do the specific incitement to murder prayer and another one so that's a case of prayers of being able to pray twice um yeah other than that i don't think anything's changed uh we can probably move on i think uh, i don't know if it was i don't know if the idolaters prayer to zinch was reroll saves but now it's plus one save oh uh, yeah it would have been reroll once because i remember uh, like, yeah. they were deep cuts of the shrine for yeah. some reason so now it's plus one to say but yeah other than that nada okay uh and again like um if there's any armies that were let's go and quickly through like silver for example and if you've if you've been waiting a while for us to talk about it and i've skipped part, i do apologize but you know if, if, there, if there's anything nice to say about it we can summarize and say they kicked you in the dick for no reason um okay so, yeah so this so that's so yeah actually what shadow Option said which is kind of what i alluded to was the the teleport ability for Wildwoods is now on the wall scroll, so that can be destroyed. So then you can't teleport between the Wildwoods. Because the tree's destroyed. So I think it used to be an Allegiance ability, where basically it was like... I in the first place. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, whereas now it's on the wall scroll. So if the wall scroll is destroyed... Not the wall, yeah. If the, the terrain is destroyed, you lose the wall scroll ability. So the... Right, so the same question Sylvanith players have been asking since the second battle time came out is still relevant, as in, can they still play with the first battle time? <laughs> yeah. Like, basically. I mean, I, that battle time was, like, stuck in China for ages as well. Like, it should have stayed there. Um, yeah, I was going to say something, but I won't say it. 
Right, okay, on to, on to the next one. So, uh, right, so I'm just going to quickly go back to some chat because we're talking about Archeon again. So, Archeon is expensive, but he seems to do the work. <laughs> I, I, I just like, in case, just in case, like, you haven't got that much experience with Archeon, we'll all agree here that he's very he, lucky at points. As of right now, in my opinion, he's the strongest thing in the meta. Yeah, because I'll just yeah. quickly say to Chase before you go into it, is that basically because all those sort of like Titanic monster heroes massively went up in points in, in third edition, and because there's lots of things that can buff them, like Arkham could be an extra plus one to hit, plus one to wound. Look, look, there's lots of other things that can help them out. Like look at Nagash, who's like 970 points as an example. Um, and then Archeon is uh, 830, which is like like you guys were saying so i just wanted to like lay groundwork yeah. just Ar archeon went up as much in points as demonettes did yeah but it's bloody demonettes I know. Nah, it, just, all it, means, nah, all, it just means that you get to summon more points onto the table i know i know it's, it's the main thing you've got to have that enjoyable <laughs> game of i want to summon now apparently yeah. when you summon demonettes it's like when the rohirrim come at the um uh, Lord of Rings Two Towers, and they just also uh, no, 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 no. It's Return of the King. It's like death, and they're yeah. just literally the ghosts. Um, I yeah, I thought, I, I'm yeah. On the table. yeah, you're going into charge. I'll fail the charge. Oh dear. But yeah, basically back to Archaon. He's yeah. got more ways to get pluses to save. He can still reroll saves with a specific spell in Zinch. So if he goes Zinch Archaon, which was the best version, he's still doing that. Um, he's got more ways to heal, so he can heal. I know one list where he heals 63 per battle round, which is dumb. Um, he yeah. can he heal a lot in, in Head Knights as well, so he's now the one of the cheapest things around in Head Knights. So yeah, Archaeon's a problem. It's super. But we'll see. But I, 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 right now, I think he's pretty much unkillable. But um, I have good news about Archaeon, though. I did build and paint one about three years ago and still have it. So also smaller board means you just can't run away from him. Yeah, four you could. Yeah. How anyway. you can only kill ten best to go a turn. Yeah. I, I can I just say before the Slaves Dance Battle Time came out, um, I was at Blood and Glory and he charged a unit of ten ghouls and he killed three ghouls. Those were the days. Mm. I, it was a corn archaeon, wasn't as each one. But those were the days. That's when, like, Slayer Kings is minus one rent. And then I think six hours after that game, they announced a battle tome of Slayer Stars. Um, right, okay. So uh, the core is cool. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's cool. Okay, the core rules is is a huge FAQ. <laughs> we'll do our best to make it a short one. Um, right, so. Edis is saying that um, I play Blazer Corn, making a Nurgle. I think I'm going to take a break from AOS until new battle tomes come out. Uh, play my Death Guard for time being. That, that's fair enough. And like, you will get new battle tomes come out in not too long. Um, so I can't can't blame you for that. But I'd say um, I'd say try it. Um, I think I, with like, for example, like, I'm negative about OVR, but I will try and see what I can do with them and flesh it across. Um, so then, Nate, you already read that out, didn't you? Okay, uh, Techless, any changes? There? No, it's, it's just the Moomin F1 done again. Boom. Um, right, okay. Um, the core rules. Should we go? Should we do the Broken Realm stuff and then core rules? It kind of yeah. feels like Go out with a bang. Yeah. Oh, no, Wrath, Wrath of the Everchosen. Why is that still in circulation? <laughs> so because Lurid Hayes is kind of the best thing in Head Knights the only thing clinging on to something that's just about staying in an faq um right so what because this has obviously got loads of like basically sub allegiances you could take for the the god armies to be fair we could just get this one nothing much changes yeah the, nothing the awesome. first is moved to bellacore awesome basically Bellacore, Bellacore. Uh, this is this is the prime Jesus example of what he should have been. So, so yeah, the, the only thing I think worth mentioning in Bellacore is you can no longer take Vermin Lords in Legion of the First Prince. Bellacore. Uh, yeah. Mm, but uh, no, you can also can't take the Ever Chosen, so you can't take a Gaunt Summer in each list. Cool. In in, in the Legion of the First Prince lists. I get it's it, because Archaeon, basically. And you can't take Archeon anymore, so you can't take, say, Archeon, Bellicorn, mm -hmm. Keeper of Secrets. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that that makes sense, doesn't it? Like, yeah, it's you know. fair, it makes sense that you can't take Archeon in the Legion's First Prince list because mm -hmm. they fucking hate each other. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be no one's bitch. They absolutely um, hate each other. So yeah, well, but yeah, he's like I did. I did like the Gaunt Summer in the Legion's First Prince list. Yeah, and I, I understand like thematically, this this. Not look like it's been done well. This Cragness, I'm gonna. It's, it's, not, it's not a good one. Um, one thing worth oh. talking about with the Cragnos one is it generally like that? Okay, it's loaded properly. Yep. Um, is so the War Master bit for Cragnos. Uh, people, so I'll read it out. So this unit can be included in any other war clans, gets more tribes, sons of bear my army. If it is treated. If it is, it's treated as a general, even if it's not picked to be the army's general, and you can still use the army's allegiance abilities, even if this unit is not from the army's factions. Some people are thinking this means that Kragnos yes. gains like the Iron Jaws abilities and stuff. That's not true because he doesn't get the keywords. All it meant was Kragnos in the past, if he was the general, he stopped your army, I believe, from getting their allegiance abilities. So this just means he can be your general and you still get the allegiance abilities. But yeah, he doesn't get like big war pluses and stuff like that. So that, that's kind of a dream for people, isn't it? And it yeah, they, they kind of jump to conclusions, I think. Yeah. And then when you actually look at it, it's like, no, he needs the keywords, which he doesn't have. Because if he could have had the keywords for both of them, then he could have been, you know, for bonus as well. Oh my God. Be, you... Triple movement, fly. Six up, feel no pain. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Um, I played against I played against Pragnos for the first time in three foot over. He is scary as it is. Oh, okay, that's good then. Um, because all I do is hear people talk shit about him. So no, no, with the points drops and everything else, he's good. And he's bravery eleven, so he's going to always heal if you want him to. Yeah. Nice. And then you've got Ellis is saying that um, crime major saying that my vermin lord list was so um, overpowered. Yep. Uh, to be well, honest, I have to place the corruptor with the uh, exalted chariot then. Yeah, well, well, there you go. That's that's another option. Like, so, like when you said like you wanted to take break from Air West and go to forty um, k, you know, there's other things you can try out. But I get it when it's along the lines of like I when I say try out, I'm kind of thinking try out on TTS or something. But obviously, you know, before you commit to buying models and stuff, obviously, uh, do you want me? But there aren't, there aren't other ways to do it. Um, okay, so one that we forgot, though, when we've gone through all the armies. Soul Bite. Soul Bite. Well, this is yeah, a thank you, the whole thank you as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the big one about this is the, is the Cursed City one. Yes. So all That's the seven massive. Cursed City evil heroes can be taken separately. Well, not heroes, but units, basically. There's some um, nice heroes in there as well, you know. Yeah. Well, there's some, there's so, some nice looking heroes, and you can make your own with thematic. Well, there's, there's one which gets you like CP on a four up each turn. Yeah. yeah. Was it a uh, Chamberlain that does that? Yeah, I think it was Torgilius Chamberlain. Like, I looked at his wall scroll and really liked him. Gorsla, the Great Keeper's good. I think he brings zombies on. Mm. Like, the the Bloodborne are really good as well, as are the uh, Vags here. Yeah. So he's got a, so he's got a four up so Torgilius, yeah, he's got four up feel no pain. He's a caster. Um if this model is within three inches of Radical, on a four up you receive an extra command point. Um and he's got a nice little minus one to hit spell. Um yeah, like does he three. specify Radical the Wolf or uh yeah, it is named Radical the Wolf. Oh, but like okay. honestly, Radical the Wolf is worth taking now because you get Radical the beast command ability, but for a lot less. Um, yeah. And I don't know. Do I think think Radicar, the wolf and the beast, or is that no, a no, there's a thing on the wall scroll which says okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I just read it now. But yeah. of course I have the gravekeeper, right? 75 points. And when a unit of a zombie dies, if it's nearby him, um, you can bring back that unit half its strength. Mm. So you know 60 zombies you want to, or just a unit of 40, bring back 20 or so, yeah, no, it's really what? good for 75 points. This guy, well, like, that's pretty, yeah, and you look and he looks great as well, yeah, he, he does. Um, so yeah, that, that's good. Uh, so that, that's so, a, nice, a nice change that I didn't expect them to do. No, so, uh, a few other things has the white uh, king one ability change, 
Yeah, so it now happens at the start of the combat phase and it, and it lasts until your next hero phase. Good. They've also fixed Belladama's command ability, which was the one about the six inch piling. That because mm -hmm. that, that didn't have an end on it, now it ends at your next hero phase. So that's been sorted out. Uh, and you know. just to say as well, I don't know if it's covered here. I think you told me about, about it before. Was um how the blood knights ability works their movement shenanigan um oh yeah, we, sure. that, that, didn't, that didn't need an faq because the moment we saw the new core rules it all made sense was that that the whole the retreat and, and run yeah it's just in that normal moves and retreats are now defined differently so can they retreat our combat blood knights or not they, like, they can, they can, they can they, their ability yeah so they can basically they can retreat and charge awesome that's cool um that wasn't for anyone that was just for my own personal knowledge uh blood knights are cool Right, so yeah. there's that. Proper, um, it's the FAQ now. For the anyone, anyone want to cover Underworlds? Nah. nah. Let's, do the, let's dive into the core rules. Cause, yeah. Oh, oh, this is a... Chunk it. Wow. Yeah, but yeah. Like, are we reading through all of this? Shall I read through all of it? Or? Uh, I think we just need to pick out the bits that matter, don't we? Uh, I, mean, I, um, I can't fully remember the core rules, let alone the FAQ. So, yeah, so I think the first one is 1 1.2. All of you guys that painted your Stormcast models with colours of a Stormkeep, you now have to play it as that Stormkeep because GW are assholes. Um, nope, that's what 1.2 says. If you paint it as hammers, you play it as hammers. What? Uh, and you, and you, yeah, and <laughs> that's brilliant. What about if um, my chaps, um, Roman, they actually so they don't have a one? Does that mean I can't use any? You really can play as anyone you want. That just seems uh, to be the win. Yeah, I mean, it's um, uh, the other big nerf is the units of wizards, so 19.4. So, say that's your Lumineth miscast. Oh, they, wow. I'd yeah, so they, they spread out the unit know. rather than killing the champion. So, when, say, the Saigor unbinds the Lumineth wizard, it spreads through the unit rather than killing the caster, which, yeah, makes the Saigor pointless, really. So, uh, this, is, okay. this is really big and interesting. Yeah. Um, so, this, rule, this FAQ I hadn't read... If I have more than one general and one is slain, but the others are still alive, do I get to add two to the dice roll when using my heroic leadership? And the answer is yes. But the answer is no in, in uh, Head Knights. Well, screw Head Knights. They're screwed anyway. <laughs> but that's, that's like that, 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 that. So all you do is you have, you know, Archaeon and then a very easily killable um, general, and you get rid of that general early. You're rolling your two ups, and you're still getting your general CP because Archaon's still alive. Right. Okay. Um, we also get confirmation about random saves and how that all works, so that's cool. That's all confirmed how, now. How was that? How was, uh, how just was that it? rend and save counterbalance each other, but so the you most... can stack it. The... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It will, it, yeah. You can stack plus one saves, counteract rend. Um. Cool. I just want to say with the whole model thing about it has to be painted, right? Um, but it turns out you can ask for your opponent's permission. So when my opponent asks me, do you mind if I play it as this sub allegiance? You can say no to them, and you can say it's not because you're trying to be a dick. It's just because you want to play to the, mm. the left of the of the law on that one, which I think uh, is. Is that just Storm, sorry, is that just Stormcast? Is that all sub allegiances? I don't, I, I don't think many others have... Um... Specific colors. Oh, maybe they do actually. Yeah. That's what true. color is your temple? Uh, well, my temple is. Can I say Ben as well? You're a uh, you're basic hair. Green. Oh, my basic hair. The pasty and ginger. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically, what we what we've done is we've all painted it different and unique because we have I don't know imagination, which means that we can play as any sub legends we'd like. So that's fine. We'll go out of that rule. If you want. There you go. Um, uh, right. So moving, yeah, moving on. There's, there's some other big, well, fairly big ones. 
Uh, so yeah, if anyone else wants to jump in, go for it. But 1.6, um, I'd kind of been advocating that because for Unleash Hell, it said that you could unleash hell anytime. Oh no, it was for redeploy. It said after the unit has moved. I was like, well, I can wait until later in the phase. But they've basically said replace the words before and after or they're synonymous with immediately before and immediately after so yeah like with redeploy you have to do it immediately after the other unit has moved does that make sense but you pick the last unit to move if you if you're only going to has to be immediately after it's not just after so in my mind i was like oh yeah oh um you know like i was kind of arguing that rules as written um you know a unit could move and then later in that phase you could redeploy because it was still after that unit had moved right but now they've said it has to be immediately after which is fine it's the way it should have been i was just being a gamey bastard um no. yeah um, yeah that's yeah that, that makes sense i don't know why um, but i decided to try and read through the fucking longest one which is if several abilities are used in a stage speaker um that hasn't changed just there mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. Um, so that may or may not have changed, uh, yet to be confirmed. And then if two modifiers apply to a die save, can, okay, yeah, so we know that one. If two abilities double half. A lot of these are just cleaning up old yeah. FAQs. Yeah, because um, a lot of these, like, well, like one I just read, if two different abilities double or half a value, it's the value doubled or half once or twice, and it says twice. Like, we knew yeah. this before. Yeah. Well, so that'd be like, say, Hailstone from Shagoth and then the Condium imprints for movement and run charge rolls. Does the, so does the, the first one, does that um, half the one in charge as well? Oh, everything was in charge. Everything halves with that one. So you could, so if you had a, just an interest, Beast Chaos Army, you take that and then you take the Space Darkness Condium imprints and then you can make your enemy halved twice their charging. Mm hmm. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's also a cast on the seven, so it's well. It's oh, okay, hard to get. So it's, it's not. It's not. It, if it was two command abilities, that'd be pretty good. But because because it's a casting, and it's a basic chaos casting. It's not great. It's not going to go off. Yeah. Um. So right down the bottom of one point six. Um. It says, if an ability allows you to fight, does that mean it can pile in and attack, or just attack? And they've said it can pile in and attack. Whereas in 2.0, a pile in and an attack were two separate things. Um, so, like, there were some abilities which said, you know, this unit can fight. But if it didn't say this unit can pile in and fight, then it couldn't pile in. Think, Whereas I now you that can. One, that was the difference between, was it Fire Slayers and Ed Knights? Hammer Hall, or, ha or Hammer Hall had just a fight rather than a pile yeah. in and fight. Whereas um, all, all the, well, so the Keeper Secrets one was pile in and fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. That just makes it universal and clear and easy, which I like. Um, do, 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 do. And then we've got a big explanation about command points. Yeah, we know um, how command points work. That's fine. We'll um, so they clear up how they well they clear up how auras work um, because there was a lot of question about like Manfred's aura, for example. Oh, um, that's fine. Isn't it? Yes, yeah. So basically, it's an so all so command ability auras are done by the per, by the character and they're applied to themselves in that phase. So yeah, um, basically, yeah, you can still give your unit of grave guard plus one to save in the combat phase, no problem, uh, as I understand it. Also, there was a weird janky thing where, in theory, Volturnos could do his command ability in every phase. That's been cleared up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like there's stuff to go through if you're interested, but it clears up all of the weird stuff that was kind of being talked about with command abilities. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, some abilities you'd like to set up. Uh, Comes being moved. No. Um, so fractions are retained. Yeah. Um, why are all models allowed to claim all terrain features? Why is this being asked? Uh, I don't know. Uh, nor do I care. <laughs> like, so uh, I'm, just, I'm just I'm reading those ones out just to show that we're not just skipping this because it's ten past midnight in the UK. 
we're also skipping it because it's not important. Yeah. Um, train is a train feature considered to be part of the battlefield? Yes. Like, okay, so quite obscure things that may be important uh, in a once in a lifetime situation. Okay, can you use set up once? One thing that is quite good though is the garrison, which is the can you reset up once the battle is underway in the garrison? So you can't turn the unit into a garrison. Why no. look at that? Which is pretty good. The people used to do that. Well, no, I'm, I'm assuming that with the. Uh, what is it now? The, oh, uh, okay. the Seraphon would be able to summon into their ridiculous. Temple thing. Temple thing, yeah. Really um, yeah, so on 14 for wounds, um, the second one is, does a wound or mortal wound that is negated still count as having been allocated to a model? And the answer is no, which is really good, because you had in Hallow Heart, there's a spell called Warding Brand, which is basically every time you do a wound or mortal wound to a unit on a four up, you, a mortal wound is kicked back. And then you had Phoenix Guard, which had the four up negate. So basically... Yeah you would do the warding brand thing and then you would negate those wounds. Whereas now it's the other way around, you would negate them and then you would do the more okay. wound kickback. Um, so that just clears that up. And I think there's other interactions where that might be important, but that was the one which sprang to mind for me. No, that's good. That's a good point. There are things uh, like that in there. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Restrictions that apply when um no, so yeah they they talk about units of wizards uh which we kind of talked about earlier in terms of mis miscast they clear that up so yeah as was kind of always going to be the case the wounds are done to the unit not to the individual model uh um, it's, it's, it's also the same with the units of say when the side guard dispels something into D3 runes, it does it to the unit rather than the actual caster. So this is important for priests. So some people would so obviously now priests can only chant one prayer. And some people were claiming that if they had like a war scrolls prayer where it said you can chant one of these two prayers in your hero phase, that they could also then do one of the generic prayers. But the for the priest it says, uh, can a priest chant more than one prayer? And it says no unless specifically stated otherwise. So yeah, it has to specifically say it can chant two prayers. So not specifically um, in, it just says in their war scroll they have options of prayers. It has to specifically say they can chant more than exactly. Okay. Cool. That does that that kind of brings all priests in line with each other then? It yeah. nerfs yeah, yeah, nerfs priests quite a lot for some factions. Uh but yeah, like it brings them all in line, I guess. Um do, 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 do. I think that's about it. Um yeah, I mean like guys like ooh. a lot of this Sorry. Um, sorry, allied units can be in core battalions as we thought, so that's good. Yep. Um, okay. uh, uh, does at any point it say that you can't take the same artifact more than once? Oh, that must be somewhere. Because if it, here it says yes, and they're specifically noted otherwise, you can take duplicates. What, what, what is it under enhancements? Under enhancements, yeah. I'll just have a look. Because uh... I swear people are asking with artifacts if you could take more than one, because there was nothing saying that you couldn't. Because yeah. it, it, it used to be in the core rules or whatever, but it's not now. Uh, it just sounds like, I mean, talking from someone who played first edition where you could spam for the same artifact it just sounds a bit like a recipe for disaster mm -hmm. but obviously not for every army but there's like some armies where one artifact's great uh, i see what you're saying it doesn't it doesn't mention anywhere else does it it's in it it's it's not saying anything so each time oh, each oh time no sorry so literally the last faq uh, is an army cannot include duplicates of the same artifact oh, okay. power. Cool. There we there we go. They do, they just right. later on. So it says yes, and especially stated otherwise. Yes, five lines down. 
<laughs> yeah, I oh, know, but it's other it's other enhancements. So like you could take duplicate mount traits uh, or like spells. It, it's important for um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so oh, on on so on the spell one. So taking spell or enhancement, yeah, allows every and every is underlined wizard in the army to take one spell from a law. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what makes me think that unique characters can take say flaming blade. Like it's still not, yeah, it's still not something that they, yeah, they needed to specifically. No, no, they, they, they do, but I mean, like, so you said earlier that it says that you can't, but with, with the the fact that you're like every wizard, rather than just. But then there's another point where they say, um, unique that can't. unique character. So like, there, there, there's an argument for and against it. Yeah, like, I, 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 I like, I 100% yeah. see your argument on it, on it. But if I was toing an event. I would come because of the fact they've gone out of their way to change every spell law to say that unique can take it, and that's the only spell law that they haven't. That's the side I'd come down on. But I also get the argument the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so we read for the core rules. I'm going to read for the chat now. If anyone's got any questions they want to ask us before we go, we made it. yeah, like ask ask them ask them now thank god it's a friday um so it's Saturday now yeah yeah already halfway for the weekend <laughs> better get ready for monday <laughs> right good so working two days. fun got work in two days yeah I've got, work. I've got work in eight hours eight hours oh well mm. that's good well okay well we'll crack it we? and then we can all go to bed so um where are we? The... So I'm just going back through this stuff. Um, Mazov saying, Gorsav can bring back dials as well. I mean, that's a fantastic point. Dials are awesome. Um, and then Iris is saying that uh, they said the battle tones would be um, compatible with third edition. The FAQ determined that as a lie. In what terms? Is it? Yeah, they're all playable. Like they're all perfectly playable. Yeah, some like, are better than like some are better than others. But I'd argue the points are more responsible for the points changes are more responsible for that than anything else. Yeah, I like the FAQ is going to change stuff up. It's a new edition. Yeah. Um, Chase is saying I'm curious about the relics that make you put in uh, reroll sixes. Do they happen before effects yes. are applied? Yes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So yeah, so I'll I'll explain it again. So yeah, if there is a reroll that happens before a triggered effect so if something makes you re-roll a six and you have an effect on a six you will still have to re-roll that six and then you have to roll that six again to get the triggered effect however if there are two triggered effects that happen on a hit roll of a six then you only choose one of those triggered effects okay that's fine so re-rolls happen before triggers awesome um and then uh Shadow on so Nate is saying, did they clarify the graphic on flying units moving over terrain? I.e., is it the horizontal move or the diagonal move? Uh, no, they didn't clarify. But what what is that in reference to? Like models just fly over terrain as normal, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, because I, I always thought I, like, flying models, it was always a two D movement rather than in theory of like say trigonometry. It was just essentially a straight line, straight line. Yeah, if you're flying, you bypass it. But as far as I'm aware, that's how it works. Maybe, maybe they did. Uh, they probably did the diagram and the core rules, and they they probably did it wrong. Maybe I don't know. But I presume flying hasn't changed. Otherwise, you you fly over it like it shouldn't. Otherwise, yeah. what's the point of fly? So apart from physically being able to fly over models, blah blah blah, um, and then. Uh, we have uh, it is again saying uh, so the um, munificent projects can't pronounce that munificent, uh, yeah, munificent plague bearers dish back a mortal wound on a six when hit. How does that work when your opponent has price when they hit on so six? Because yeah, so the person who, three. yeah, the person whose turn it is will get to decide. So if it is the attacker's turn, then they're always going to choose that their six, you know, six to hit doesn't mortal wound, that that goes over the kickback. On your turn, when you're attacking, you would choose the mortal wound bounce back. So, yeah, it's definitely nerfed Munificent Wanderers. Okay. And um, 
Well, so it's nerfed that nerve stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Chase is saying, uh, so he's saying, my question is actually, does uh, the forced reroll? Okay, that's fine. So we answered that. Um, Ennis isn't happy about it uh, as an Urgle player, not surprised. Um, he says, I feel like it won a fancy player uh, during the end times. I don't think it's. It's fine. Like, it's fine. Like, yeah, life it's is good. Like, 3.0, life is good. Like, it yeah. really is. There's a few armies which need new books, sure. But by the looks of it, that's what this is going to be happening. Just by. Yeah. And it looks yeah. like Nokia and Nurgle will, will get one. Very soon. Yeah. yeah. So don't hold on to faith, mate. I know it can be hard, but hold on to it. And then Chase is saying, uh, awesome, the Lantis of the Tempest is a gay. Thank you and sleep well. Can't remember the Lantern of the Tempest is. But you're very welcome. Glad you enjoyed it. Sleep well. And I'll catch you around later. Um, and then Mr. Pringle saying, what exactly are zombie units maxed at now? With the um, ability. So, uh, yeah, I pulled the I pulled that FAQ back up. And, yeah. So just the wording is there are no restrictions on the newly dead ability allowing a unit of dead walkers to go over their starting size. Is this intentional? And the answer is yes. Awesome. So they can go, they can yeah, zombies can be as big a unit as you fancy. Cool. And that's what well, I've only used them once and I went against more fan cavalry and I, I didn't kill enough for it to be useful, but it will do it. Eventually, uh, mate is saying the core rules show a graphics with a diagonal, um, and it's really not clear just from the uh, document. All I'm going to say is tree flying has always been. I might be wrong in saying that, but that's how I think it should work, and that's how I'm going to play it. And I think that's how we're all going to play it. And um, I know there's a document somewhere on the internet which I went through before. Um, however, my core book comes tomorrow, and I'm not dragging up the document to try and find it. So, Nate, I would just say, just just play flying as, as it's always been. Uh, seems seems right to me. Uh, right. So, with that, I am going to thank everyone for watching this video. This video went above 110 views, which I can say that I like. That's far more than any other video I've had live go uh, up. People watching it. So, thank you so much for that. That's really cool to see. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it best you can. I hope you um, learned stuff, or even it was just nice to sort of talk through your thoughts. Because sometimes, like when you read this sort of stuff in your house by yourself, not really surrounded by anyone else who plays, you know, war dollies and all that sort of thing, it's nice to sort of talk about it on the internet. So I hope you enjoy. It. I hope we managed to help a little bit, especially where there's been some not negatives and like um, um, people need to think more positively. The negatives in like there's been quite a lot of nerfs in the FAQ. And then how we can try and twist that around and see what you can make the best out of it as well. But a massive thank you, especially to yourself, Ben, and to yourself, Alex. Um, it's been a it's been a long one. It's been a really long one. So I'll keep the outro short. But thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. I know you guys have helped out a few of these videos, and not, none of these videos are quick. So thank you very much for your your support and your expertise um, in this subject. It's made my life a lot easier. Um, so with that, um, and big thanks to uh, Max and Luke as well, who joined us for the first half. And if anyone has just joined now, um, you'll be able to watch this on the demand when the thing finishes or from now, whatever. At some point, I'm going to do timestamps when I can be able to input this into the description. Nice. That's two weeks from now. Um, and the only other thing to say is I know I haven't replied to, I think, most people's comments for about a week. Just being busy, I am going to get around to try and do it this weekend. So if you're wondering why I have not replied to it's not because I don't hate you. Um, actually, no, that's not correct. I don't hate you. It's not the reason it's because I hate you. I just haven't had time to get around to it. Um, and then Gary is saying that, really appreciate how you guys discuss the rules between yourselves. Thanks. You're very welcome, mate. Glad you liked it. And Nate as well saying thanks for the great stream, guys. You guys are very welcome. Right, so with that, I'm going to thank you all very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, man, uh, remember to smash the like button, subscribe button, bell notification. By liking the video, shows to me that you enjoy this sort of stuff. It shows the YouTube people who enjoy this video and hopefully recommend it to um, people on the channel. Subscribing to the channel is how the channel grows at the end of the day. And even if you think you press subscribe, just double check because sometimes YouTube likes to unsubscribe people for, for some reason. Um, but that's massively how the channel grows at the end of the day. And by pressing the bell notification means you never miss a future one of my videos, particularly when it's a live video. And by pressing that bell button, it really helps out the channel. If you want to share this video with anyone, feel free if you think they'll enjoy it. If you want to join the Discord where Ben and Alex and everyone else who is in this video um, coalize, you will find a link to my Discord in the description of this video. And if you would like to support the channel that step further, I have actually got a um, Patreon and a 
YouTube Only fans. And uh, I have got a yeah. So that was the thing today. Um, turns. Do you know how long it takes to make an OnlyFans account? You go on it. Mm. You sign in with your Google account. You're in there within about twenty seconds, and then it turns yeah, out you need to do I then you need to do loads of verifications and stuff, and I'm waiting like forty eight hours for them to get back to me. But my first verification was rejected for some reason. Um, just just couldn't take the the hotness. Uh, I presume with the Imperial Knight. Um, but I said I'd do an OnlyFans if one person would support by even just one pound on the Discord, as it's still revenue at the end of the day. Um, so hear more on that soon, but it might make more money, who knows? Anyway, so if you want to support the channel a step further, I have got a YouTube membership, it means you can click the join button, takes you to Asian Agash membership, give anything from one pound a month, if you want to keep the channel going. Alternatively, I have got a link to my Discord down below, we can give anything from one dollar a month, where all that goes towards keeping the channel going. As you guys know, how much time, effort, resources, money that gets put into this, and like money you get back. There's no profit in it, but what these people show me is if they're willing to support me on this much of a first level, I am willing to put the effort in to try and get these videos out to these guys and then also try and drag in all the people I know, i.e. Ben and Alex, to uh, give me their thoughts and give up their evenings to try and help you guys in your battles of Age of Sigma and to try and help your Age of Sigma journey. So if any of you like to support that way, click the join button, link to my page down below. But I want to give a shout out to the people who already made that amazing choice. Who is going to be my biggest supporter, which is my Vampire Lord and Zombie Dragon, who is going to be Philco. So thank you so much, Philco, if you are watching this. Massively huge support there. Really, really kind, Jones, to you. Please keep it up. And then my Morgoth, who are Bleed Red, who has been a Morgoth for a long time now. So thank you very much for that. And then we've got the Mortark and the Necropolis. So instead of it taking up the whole space, as that wouldn't be very fair, I'd just call it uh, call yourself the Necropolis. So thank you so much for deciding to become a Morgoth. So it's a great way. First time supporting the channel and you decide to go for a more straight away. So that's really, really kind of you, and you won't regret your help you're going to give the channel. So thanks so much. Then my vampires, who are going to be the core that keeps the channel going, which is going to be Mir, Stent, Rousery to one, David A, Dragon Nitty, Ronnie H, Darren L, Spare Bear, Christopher H, North Drop, Nathan F, Andrew G, Ben C, who is on the screen now. So thank you very much, Ben. Uh, Wiggy Hooty and Anthony R. Thank you all so much for supporting me, and especially that is a very generous amount you are giving. And then my next month is Jack L, Radiation Riley, AW77, Dice Sargus, Wolf Nick, Michael W, Cranky Wombat, Madcap, Christopher C, Christopher F, James S, Thomas B, Steve T, James T, Patrick F, JJ, R. Christopher, Seption, and Nathan S. Thank you all so much for your kind and generous support. Anyone like to come to these amazing people, click the join button or the link to the Patreon down below. I know I should probably do all this pre-recorded, um, but I think it's nice if I do it live every time. So with that, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching, by subscribing, by smashing the bell button. If you could support on those platforms, I said that'd be amazing. If you can't, no worries at all. Just glad that you came and watched the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, your evening, whatever it is for you. Remember until next time to stay safe, stay hygienic, make sure you wear a mask. And for God's sake, wash your hands because it doesn't matter what army you guys are playing. In third edition, if you've got clean, nice, healthy hands, you are going to roll your dice better. But... Uh, the last thing I want to say as well is just Baron is saying, uh, like Spike, fantastic. That would be amazing. There's over 100 people watching this today, so wouldn't it be lovely if there was that reflected in the likes? But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching this video. Remember until next time that Nagash is all, and all is one in Nagash. Please check out my OnlyFans. It really would mean a lot to me.